Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you please invite your friends and share the link of the video with your friends and your list in social media so more people will join us today we are going to uh, uh, answer Abdul who uh, you know this is something usually the Muslims always they say and you know the Muslims always they copy paste something they learn from somebody which means it's not even their own question they are just copying others and nothing new with that but sometimes questions you ask if those questions can hurt you I believe it's a stupid because how in the world a Muslim he can ask such a question when that will contradict even his Quran about Jesus as usual we always refute the Muslims using their books however today we will start with the accusation which the Muslims they came to us with about Jesus being tempted you know when somebody he make a claim he say anything you know the first thing you need to do is to make your claim clear when a Muslim he say how Jesus can be God but yet he is tempted by the devil and the devil he tried to tempt everybody he tried the question is was he successful or he was not if he was not successful then the temptation is useless it's like saying how you can shoot God by a gun when God death does not affect him and then you say to me that Jesus survived death and death could not take him down so God cannot be a person who die and God is always alive then Jesus must be God because even in Islam Jesus not only like in Christianity at least Jesus was a crucified in Islam Jesus never died at least until now after 2,000 years if we go here we will see in the front of us the Muslim post this guy his name is Sheikh Mahbub mostly look like he is a Pakistani boy Mr. Sheikh he said the following Quoting for us Matthew chapter 4 verse 1 to 3 Satan tempt Jesus Satan tempt Jesus As you see here Hmm Sound like this is a problem for the Muslims how Jesus can be who he is or the Christian claim but Satan he tempts my friend this is in English maybe you have an English barrier problem the tempt here is an act of the devil is not an act happened to Jesus which means Jesus was not a person who fell into the temptation and you Muslims you keep saying to us can you prove to us that Jesus is God and the Quran says that J Jesus and Mary they used to eat food but in the same chapter you post for us it says and he fasted 40 days and 40 night afterward he was hungry <laughs> Muslims you Muslims you fast the month of Ramadan and you claim to be a hero to fast eight hours a day and all what you do you sleep the day you wake up at night and all night you are eating and watching porn and belly dancing and yet this is fasting you are trying to say to us that Jesus seemed to be very weak God very weak God he is very weak to the point even though he is in the human body shape or form still he can fast for 40 days remember the body of the human need food 
it's a must it's not the choice this is how the body is functioning you know you don't eat for uh, three four days you are dead seven days ten days okay 40 days without food so Jesus fasted for 40 days how you can explain to me the weak Jesus have the strength to fast for 40 days then you say to me that because Satan he tempted Jesus obviously Jesus must be weak but you did not read the rest the rest Jesus said to him <laughs> you know it's been written that you cannot it's not allowed it's not for you to tempt God nobody can tempt God so Jesus he just and the Muslim the Muslim they say to us where Jesus said I am God worship me he just said to you he said to the Satan and whoever followed the Satan from the Muslims that you cannot tempt God it's been written so the temptation of Satan never worked in Jesus and the answer in Jesus answer himself but the Muslims always they quote the title or they make a title so they can fabricate a story is not exist the Bible confirmed to us that Jesus he gave the Satan the answer which he deserved it is written a man does not live by bread and this is why he fast to prove to the followers that even though he is in the body of a human being still he can do what he say when Satan he asked him that was an answer for Satan asking him if you are the son of God tell those stones to become bread Jesus said I'm fasting anyway <laughs> why I want to do that <laughs> I'm just giving you the answer in a simple way because you are Abdul and you are slow like your prophet and then the devil he said to him I will give you all those things you know and then he said to him and this is all by the way in a metaphorical way like I mean the, the, the Satan he showed him all the kingdom of the world it did not take him around and fly in the flying carpet no all he can show the Satan is very powerful he was an angel in Christianity so he showed all the kingdom of the earth and he said to Jesus I can give you all of this you know what do you want if you are the son of God cast yourself down for it is written that he will command his angels concerning you so the son of God he will be able to do that he will command the angels so you will see here Satan he confirmed that Jesus is capable of ordering the angels. But he's saying to him, if you are the one who is the Son of God truly, which means if you are truly the one you claim to be, what Jesus said to him, he said again and again, he said to him, Yeshua said, again it's written, you shall not tempt the Lord Jehovah your God so my friend Satan he had a conversation with Jesus and that's all and he got busted so when a Muslim speak about Jesus being tempted either you are trying to play fool or you are a fool choose one same time if we go in the Quran we will find that the Quran speak about Jesus that he is a person who is holy let us go to the Quran unless you want to accuse your Quran to be a book of lies and then I understand if we go to chapter 19 verse number 19 we will find the following Uh, all right. Chapter 19, verse number 19. 
read with me what the Quran says about Jesus he said nay supposedly do the who is this one talking supposedly the angel who came to Mary I am only a messenger from the Lord which means supposedly from Allah because in this case the Lord is Allah to announce to thee the gift of a holy son so what you will do with the weak Jesus who is the holy son and here we have a challenge for the Muslim to answer Jesus is the holy son of who you see you Muslims you say Jesus is not the son of God okay who is his father they have no answer who is the one to make it simple for the slow Abdul who is the one who made Mary Breton it I will give you options it was the angel and that will make the angel a creator it was Allah or Jesus he did that by himself which one you choose Muslims the Muslim will choose they will say well the Quran says to you who is the one behind this story it is a gift from who from the Lord who is the Lord supposed to Allah so who is the one who made Mary Britain it according to Islam Allah so according to your stupid religion Jesus must be the son of Allah because the one who made my mother Britain it is my father is that correct guys is the logic is simple whoever made a woman a bread net he is the father of the baby it doesn't matter if he is married to her or not who is the one who made Mary bread net tell us Muslims you will say God Jesus is the son of who <laughs> you know what I mean this is how stupid Islam is same time if we go I'm just trying to make it simple for the slow Abdul you know I'm just going down to their level if we go in the Bible we will find that there's many verses in the Bible speaking about Jesus as a person who never commits sin not even a single Christian believed Jesus commits sin all those verses you see in the front of you say clearly with no question do not need to make interpretation it says who committed no sin nor was the uh, uh, the sight found in his mouth so never spoke of sin never did sin he is sin free that is jesus and the bible in the front of you and you can go check all those verses in the front of us so you can read them so it's confirmed in the Quran that Jesus is holy. Confirmed in the Bible that Jesus is holy. So Satan tempted Jesus, he did nothing. And that means Jesus is the strong God, not the weak God. In the same time, if we go and check about Allah, we will find that Allah is a very weak God. As an example, God he created Eve according to Islam to do what anyone knows who is a Muslim in the bushes there what is the reason for Allah to create Eve who knows he created Eve to have a wife so they can have children as simple as that right okay what do you do with this story Muslims Let us laugh. Let us see how we can find the hadith so we can laugh together. Give me a second. You Muslims have no idea you are talking to whom I'm telling you you have no idea all right
I'm just trying to find a faster way to find the hadith in English. Hmm. Let us hope we will find it in English. Ah, huh? no. Okay. Well, look like we will not find it in English. So we have to do another trick. Let us do this. This is a chapter of Al-Araf, verse number 190. And this is Tafsir At-Tabari, and this is the official government of uh, the finger-chopping religion, Saudi Arabia. You go to their embassy, they cut your pieces. And they say later, uh, he was killed in a fight. Hmm. If we go here, we see, it says, and the reference in the front of you, and the numbers in the front of you, Abdul. Haddathana Muhammad ibn Bashar, qal haddathana Abdul Samad, Muhammad ibn Bashar, he said that, uh, Abdul Samad, he said that, Umar ibn Ayyhi, said, Qutada, he said that, blah, 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 that the Prophet said. That the Prophet what? And actually, I'm surprised why we cannot find, why cannot find it in, in, uh, in the English website, let me try again. Maybe we can find this one. Hmm. Here we go, we found it in English. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> because you know, if I translate the Abdul, they will say he's lying, he's lying, brother, he's lying, he's lying. Okay, hold on. The prophet S A W, and look how big the S A W. It's like the billboard you see in the highway. I mean, you cannot even say the name of Muhammad without saying S-A-W. We say the name of Jesus, and he is our God. We don't say S-A-W, F-M-G-O-R-R-E. He's our God. Yet you Muslim, you say a man. His name is Muhammad. You cannot even say his name. You don't even dare to say his name without adding chapters behind. To glorify his name. For you are a bunch of potatoes worshipping a man. Look what happened here. The Prophet S.A.W. Mercedes-Benz 500 C.C. said, when Hawa, which means Eve, this is, a, this is Eve in Arabic, okay? Don't laugh. When Hawa, I mean, how in the world you translated everything and now uh, uh, Hawa, you keep it, this, the, the, uh, leave it. Became a Bretonet. Iblis came to her. And her children would not live after birth. Like what? He said, he said, who? Shaitan, Iblis is Shaitan. Iblis, he said to Eve, name him Abdul Harith. Anyone knows what Abdul Harith? How many of you have my books? How many of you have my books? Did you read the story? I have it there. Abdul Harith, Al Abdul Harith, it's mean the slave of Al Harith. Al Harith is one of the names of Satan. Al Harith is one of the names of Satan. So, Satan, he told Eve, name him Abdul Harith. But remember, in Islam, Adam and Eve, they are, Ad Adam is a prophet, correct? That's what the Muslim says. Adam is a prophet created by Allah. Allah created Eve so they can have kids. Eve cannot have kids. Satan have a solution. Allah don't have solution. Who is the one here is tempted? Who is here in a trial? It's Allah because Allah plan is destroyed. Allah created Adam and Eve and he said to them, go down. And have babies, have kids. But here we go, Shaitan, he is killing the babies. And Shaitan, he told Adam, if you want your sons to be to survive, name them by my name, Abdul Harith.
what kind of God this God is you see Jesus did not do anything shit shaitan he want Allah what he want shaitan can stop it and can destroy it so easy if not shaitan he asked Eve to name her children's by his name then today all of us we are not exist which mean all the plan of Allah to create Muhammad and it's and this is mean that Muhammad is descendant from the son of shaitan what do you mean name your son the son of Abdul Harith Abdul Harith the slave of Al Harith a slave of a shaitan and then look what it says she named him Abdul Harith which mean Adam he agreed because they remember the man is the is the is the, is the leader of the house Adam the funny Adam is a prophet and Adam he speak to God and God is watching and Satan is helping and Allah cannot do anything No, Al Harith is does not mean it's one of his names. It's one of the names known that in the before you see before in the in the Middle East and until now in Islam nothing changed. You know there is many legions. Uh, do you remember what is the name? What is the name of Osama? Osama bin Laden. What what Osama bin Laden mean? Do you know why? Why they name him Osama? Osama is a is a word mean lion. If you go in, the, in Arabia, you will see that a guy his name is Fahd. The previous king of uh, of uh, Saudi Arabia, his name King Fahd. All right, okay. What Fahd? The leper. It's like a tiger. So, why they name those names? For those they believe that there is something is called a tabia. A tabia is a satanic magic witch who come and kill your babies. So, in order to 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 avoid your baby from being from dying in early age, you call him by the son by the name of the devil. And the name of the devil is the devil he take he like the names of animals like lion wolf etc al harith is one of the names of the devil himself it's not the name of an animal are we following So here, look what it says to, and he lived so that among the inspiration of a shaitan and his command, the prophet of Allah, Adam, he received inspiration from a shaitan. And commands. But hold on. Adam is not the first one in Islam who is a prophet. He received command from the devil and Allah cannot do anything about it. And still yet he is considered as a prophet. And he is even calling his son the slave of shaitan. Do you know what does that mean, guys? Do you know what does that mean? When Adam, he called his son the slave of shaitan. Anyone can like it can come to a conclusion. When somebody, he called his son the son of shaitan. He named him by this name. What does that mean? What do you think? Anyone knows? Who can think? Adam is following Satan. Yeah, but it's it's more than this. He became a kafir. Correct? The Muslim they say kafir is somebody he don't follow Allah, right? So how Adam is a Muslim a prophet and yet he is calling his son the the, the slave, not the slave of Allah. The slave of shaitan. And who is the one speaking this? Muhammad. And how Muhammad, he knew this story? Allah. Because Muhammad was not there. There was only one man, one woman. Don't tell me it was reported from, 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 from. Obviously, the one who told this story is Allah. So Allah is an idiot. How Allah, he accept such a thing to happen? 
that there is a guy who is named his name is Adam he is my prophet I created him I created his wife they are the only two male and female in this earth and supposedly they will have babies but shaitan each time they have babies shaitan they kill their babies and the shaitan come to them with a solution says to me listen 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 if you want to have sons who live name them by my name slave of me not my name slave of me which means slave of my name But it's okay in Islam. It's very normal that shaitan give commands for a prophet. He can command everybody except Jesus. If we go in the Quran, we will find the following. Let us go to the hadith first. Please uh, invite your friends later. We have versions. Allah will will send the ship in a container full of versions, and they have a brand new untouched private part, as the Quran said. So Muhammad he claimed that Shaitan he command him to do good. So first we saw Shaitan and Muhammad reporting to us that Shaitan is commanding Adam to name his son Shait the slave of Shaitan, and Adam he obey. And Allah could not do anything about it, and he could not make the children live. This is why Adam have no solution except to call his sons the sons of Shaitan. Then Muhammad here he says, read with me carefully. There is none amongst you who is whom is not attached with the devil. Muhammad he told the Muslims, every Muslim he have a companion, and that companion is the devil. They say the companions, Allah Messenger. Would you too? Thereupon, he said, Yes, like yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, I have one. But Allah helped me against him. And I am so safe from his hand. And he does not command me, but for good. <laughs> Brother Sitter, are the Christian person? His name is the Christian Prince. Christian Prince, he claimed, that the prophet he received command from the devil first of all we need to ask ourselves what does command as an example the devil said to the prophet muhammad buy ice cream what a big deal buy ice cream it's a good command the devil said to the prophet brush your teeth the prophet he brought his teeth what a big deal it's a good command the devil said to the prophet buy chocolate and you know, in Pakistan, we love chocolate. And chocolate is very, very good. Actually, I believe strongly that in the heaven of Allah, we will find chocolate all over. Trees will be full of chocolate. Don't you like chocolate? So the devil, he command the prophet to buy chocolate. It's a good command, my friend. So my friend, the accusation of Christian Prince is absolutely, absolutely stupid. Thank you very much. Like, what the heck? The devil, he command Muhammad to buy chocolate? This is the good command of the devil. Since when the devil have a good command? Any Muslim, he have the courage to call me and tell me, since when the devil, he have a good command? Can you give me a list of the, of the uh, guys, when a Muslim, he insult me, please don't dot him. Don't stop him from, from uh, let him insult me. It's okay. Don't don't give them time out for the Muslims. I mean, look at this. He is a Muslim. Imagine yourself. You go to sleep. You wake up in the morning. You find yourself a Muslim. I mean, isn't it enough that he's a Muslim? Leave him alone. How are you, Mr. Tawheed? Why you don't call me, Mr. Tawheed? Since when Shaitan give good command? Are you Muslims saying to us that you Muslim believe that there is good Shaitan? There's a good shaitan and bad shaitan. You're a good shaitan, shaitan, shaitan. You're a good shaitan. I don't know. I never thought there is a good shaitan and a bad shaitan. Since when there is a good shaitan and bad shaitan? My friend, so what if the Muslims are insulting you? It's okay. It's a chat. 
take it easy if you cannot take an insult leave take a nap wake up when this guy he's he's you know or you know go and uh, dream that shaitan is giving you a good command to buy ice cream you muslims are questioning how jesus was tempted by the devil but the but the but, but the verse is saying clearly that jesus was not really the temptation here that shaitan is trying but yet you don't question how Muhammad himself, you're a prophet, the best of mankind. For sure, he's the best of mankind. He is a child molester. He was accused of a sin in the way by the Muslims. He killed a Jew and he took his sandals and he took his, his donkey. He he forced his man to divorce his wife so he can rape her and sleep with her. He flirted with the wife of the man, which is his son, when she is married. I mean, he's the best man of kind. I mean, who, who can question that? You cannot. Any Muslim have an answer? You are complaining about a verse in the Bible saying that Satan, he did his best to tempt Jesus and he failed. But you are not worried about your prophet saying that shaitan, he command him? I want a Muslim to call me and to tell me what the good command of shaitan. Give me a list. Like what? Like what? Hmm? He, uh, Ahmad, how Ahmad? You know, Ahmad, he's talking about cannibal, cannibalism. Guys, did I show you the hadith where the Muslim they drunk the blood of the Prophet? Did you see it? This guy is here. Do you dare to call me? Let us see who is the one who is a cannibalism. Do you want me to show you that Khalid al Walid he killed the Muslim and he cooked him and he ate him? Hello? Do you want me to show you your Islamic scholar agreeing that if somebody stop praying to Allah, we can eat him? Do you have the courage to call me, potato? Hmm? Do you have the courage? call me you don't because you are a coward and it's okay you are not the, not the first and you are not the last brother it's very normal when you muslims drink the blood of muhammad fight over the water he washed his testicles with Kill and eat each other, and yet you are talking about cannibalism. Show me where the Christians they eat flesh and they drink blood. It's a challenge. Jesus himself, he broke a bread, you idiot, and he said, Do this to remember me. To do what? To break the bread. And he drank the juice and he said, Do this to remember me. Do what? Drink the juice. You are a false person like your prophet may Allah bless him and give him more smart believers and the blessing of Allah obviously is a joke because your prophet for sure is not a blast he is cursed and the Quran confirmed that do we have any Muslim he dare to call so we go back to our topic as you see shaitan he command Muhammad and the command is so clear Muhammad he described that the command of the devil is good command and you know and I you know everybody all of us we know that there is no way that somebody he is the devil he will give good command since when since when a devil he will give good good something called good is the devil a source of any good obviously this kind of false teaching can be only found in false religion it's called islam because all believers in the world believe that the devil is evil is a pure evil 
and nothing good in him except in the cult of Islam. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Or any Muslim want to call us to tell us how the Muslims, they drank the blood of Muhammad, peace upon him, drinking the blood of Muhammad. And Muhammad, he said to the guy, ah, you know, you just save yourself from hellfire. What? What, what? By drinking the blood of Muhammad, you saved yourself from the hellfire? Are you sure? What kind of religion this religion is? <laughs> oh boy. Uh. This is one of the most funny, stupid religions, which is full of contradiction and madness. And Muslims, because they are so desperate, they try to put what is in their religion, in their cult, to be in our belief, when the fact it is the opposite. Everything they accuse you with, they have it in their cult. everything i challenge any muslim right now to call me and make accusation any of your choice and let me show you let me show you that the accusation you are making it is in your cult not in mine we don't have cult to follow and we don't have a stupidity to follow you have a cult and the accusation you are talking about is in your cult Prove to me that I'm following a cult. Make an accusation and bring a solid proof. Additional to that, Muhammad, he continued doing his poo-poo. And look what he said. Muhammad said, or let us say, uh, hold on, Aisha said, Aisha, she said, that the prophet was bewitched. What, what, what? What? The prophet was bewitched? What does that mean? A prophet of God. Sent, his name is written on the throne of Allah. Allah himself, he cannot sit in the throne without his name. I mean, he feels like there's something missing. The man who will guide the whole universe, he was bewitched. How this happened? What a mystery. Once the prophet was bewitched, 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 bewitched. I mean, look at this. Even the Muslims are not ashamed to say so. Can you call me, please, and tell me what does that mean to you that you are following a bewitched prophet? How you feel? How you feel? Seriously, Muslims. After Muhammad was bewitched, he was walking normally or he was like, Boing, 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 boing. What do you mean your prophet was bewitched? Explain to me. Does do you mean that he was controlled by the devil? You are worried about that Satan. He spoke to Jesus, asked him to do things, and Jesus said to him, No, I don't do what you ask me for. But you are not worried about a prophet who is bewitched. What the heck? 
I'm, I feel like converting to Islam, brother. <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> Brothers and sisters, our prophet was bewitched. This is the best news to hear for today. Okay, but don't worry, be happy. Allah will save him from the bewitching. <laughs> Who is a Muslim wanna call me and tell me how the prophet was bewitched? Please explain to us. My Skype is open. I'm listening. Hello, uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, can I speak to Dr. Zakir Naik? Speaking, uh, Dr. Zakir, uh, we have a hadith. It says that the Prophet Muhammad, S A W S A A A M W, he was bewitched. How that happened? Okay, first of all, stop calling me and doing sexual harassment at the middle of the night. Right now in Pakistan, it's 2 a.m. in the morning. And you are a Christian prince and you cannot fool me. And this is sexual harassment. What's sexual harassment? And just asking a question about the Prophet, he was bewitched. It doesn't matter. Secondly, the Prophet was bewitched. So someone like you will go to hellfire. What, what do you mean? Let me explain to you. You saw the story that the Prophet, he was bewitched. So you laugh. And when you laugh, you go to hell better. Do you understand? What? So uh, Allah could not make the prophet, like he could not make me go to hell without making the prophet suffer from bewitching? Is it bewitching mean that the shaitan control him? First of all, if you go in Tahir Bukhari, Hadith number 16, it said that the prophet, when he was bewitched, he imagined himself having six or eight course, but in fact he did not. What, 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 ha what happened? He imagined himself having sexual intercourse. Is, is that, you mean sexual? It's sexual intercourse. But he did not. So all what the bewitch effect, it was the penis of the prophet, it was not his tongue. Why it's very hard for you to understand? Oh, so the prophet was bewitched and the shaitan controlled only his penis. His tongue was fine. Yes, exactly. Uh, uh, hold on. But the Quran says, that Allah is going to delete what shaitan put in his mouth. It is a different story. Call me tomorrow. Thank you very much. I'm not ready for this. What? <laughs> the prophet was bewitched and you are upset that shaitan, he spoke to Jesus? Hello? 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 Who is the sweet Muslim is going to give us a call? Huh? Hello? Who is the sweet Muslim who is following the bewitched prophet? You see, so from now on, I want everybody to say to the Abdul, you are following the bewitched prophet and you will see how they will be upset. I mean, why are you upset? It says there in front of us. I mean, do you see how hypocrite they are? They are upset that the Bible says that G Jesus, Jesus, Shaitan spoke to him trying to tempt him and he, he failed. But they are not upset that Shaitan control, full control of Muhammad, including his penis. To the point, different hadith says the following. I mean, I don't want to talk about this hadith because it's a, it's a, like, it's not good for uh, all of, most of, most of, most of you are young like me, you know. Uh, look what the hadith says. Sahih al Bukhari. Good manners. The book of good manners. This is the book. This is the book of good manners. The book of good manners telling us that the prophet penis is not working. I mean, do you see the relationship between the topic and the story? Do you see the connection? What is the name of the book in Sahih al-Bukhari, brother? The book of good manner. Okay. 
and what is the book of good manner telling us the prophet continued for such and such a period imagining that he had a sexual intercourse with his wives but in fact he did not question the prophet he imagined himself having sexual intercourse with his wives in fact he did not he was doing it with who I mean imagining with who and this is all because he was bewitched be honest Muslims aren't you sorry for posting this for us speaking about the weak Jesus aren't you it seems like a very weak God to me hello who got tempted by his own creation hello <laughs> Abdul are you sure are you sure Abdul hello are you hello yes I hear you how are you I'm all right who's talking to me yes, yes I'm, I'm phoning from yes uh, he's telling Gondo, I'm phoning from South Africa from where Africa all right yes Africa yes right, um right. just few question to ask no problem go ahead can I sure all right uh, I I believe that the Quran which is almost like uh, our book and our religion is based on the Quran Mm. And as a Christian as well, I believe that your faith is based on the Bible. Am mm. I right? No problem. All okay. right. So, so now if your faith is based on the Bible, and then I believe that the Bible cannot contradict itself. Mm -hmm. So if it cannot contradict itself, if we can find contradiction, mm. then that means um, we cannot base our faith on the Bible. Mm. So my question is... You mean, when, uh, when, when you mean the Bible, you mean the book of Allah? No, no, no. I mean the Bible. I mean you know, the, Bible. the Bible. Yeah. Not... What is the name of the Bible in the Quran? No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask my question. You know, my friend, I, we are talking. Don't worry. We have time. You, because I want to yes. understand you very well. You know, you are a Muslim and I am a Christian. And it's very hard to understand Muslims sometimes. So I want to be sure before I answer you that I got your question right. Mm. So when you say the Bible should not have contradiction, you are talking about the, the Bible of Allah or different Bible? No, the Bible of Jesus. What is the Bible of Allah? It's in the Quran. The Bible of Allah in the Quran? Yes, yes. Where? The Bible of Allah is the Quran. Where? No, the Bible of Allah, no. The, Quran, the Quran says that Allah, he gave Jesus a book. His name is Injil, correct? Okay, correct. Okay, what is the Injil? No, because I'm phoning because I have a question. My friend, so I know you I have a question. You question? The, it's part of your question. You are talking about the book. It's called the Injil, right? You are talking about the Injil. So you are saying the Injil have contradiction. No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying this. You are... My friend, I, I, don't, I don't have a book. This is the book of God. My friend, my friend, religion. friend this, listen carefully. Listen carefully. The book you are talking about is the book of the author of the book. So if God, he made a book, this is the book of God. You, you claim... You are calling me to say that the book of Allah, which is called the Injil, have contradiction. No, my, my question is... Okay, no, your question book, is so clear. Your question is, the book of Allah, the book of Jesus, is have contradiction, correct? No, I'm, I'm not saying it has contradiction. I'm going to ask my question. No, you said you no, you, no, you see, you are taking your word back now. You are trying trying to swallow what you said already. You said, everybody heard you. That this book should not have contradiction. So you are you are talking about. No, can, can, I, asking, can I just finish? You ask you, you see you are trying you are question. trying to escape you are trying to escape the problem here because you are trying to say to us that the book of your God Allah being screwed. You are calling me to say to me that I have a God. His name is Allah. He sent a book. It's called Injil, and Allah could not protect his book. So what's my problem? Uh, so can I can I first finish my, friend, my thought? Yes, you then, can. We are talking. I'm asking you now. I'm asking you. 
you ask me the question already i know what you want to say you will say that this is this book is not the book of god right so you are trying to say to me that allah he oh. sent the book you just admitted that allah he gave jesus a book it's called injil so i'm asking you now i answered you this is the book of allah so, according to you this you is the book of allah this is not my book i don't I have, have a book i don't have a book i don't have a book have, the book is the, is belong to the one who is the author who is the author of the injil in your religion have, who is the author of the injil in your religion I, I, Sir, I, I read on your on your YouTube. You say we can ask any question you, you want. Any question. Can I, and we are we are doing that already. We are doing that. You said you can. I said yeah. you can ask me any question you want. And you did, didn't you ask me a question? You said how it can have a conviction. You said that already. That that. You said oh, that already. I, you said that already. Everybody heard you. You said if this is a book, should not have a contradiction. Correct. So you, okay, let, you, let's so say, you made let's an accusation. My, you made an accusation already that my book have contradiction. Don't you agree? Okay, okay, sir. So let's say my, my book has contradiction, no problem. Can no, no, I no, now no. continue? It's not a topic. Can it's I... not a topic. Talk, let, let's focus on the Injil. You you are speaking about the Injil. You see, we, when I talk about, about Can I continue about, my question? When I talk now about Christianity, you see, don't run away to speak about Islam. Letting... You are in trouble. You, you are in trouble. Do you know why? Can because I... you, not, you notice how foolish is your accusation is. Because now you accuse your God that uh... he could not protect his book. Are you saying that? Uh, give me just two minutes are to saying, answer my question. Are you saying? Are you saying that your God can not protect the Torah and the Injil? It says in the front of me, نزل عليك الكتاب بالحق مصدقا لما بين يديه وأنزل التوراة والإنجيل. It says that he, he he sent to you the book by the truth, confirming what is between his hands, and he sent to you the Torah and the Injil. So now you are calling me to prove to us that your God Allah is a shish kebab. Anyone can change his book. No problem. Correct? No problem. Is that sir. Correct? I, I, okay, I'm listening now. Go I, ahead. I, go ahead. I accept that. Can I continue? My go ahead. Continue. Can continue, I continue, brother. My... continue, brother. Continue. Continue. Okay. No problem. Hmm. No problem, sir. Thank you very much. Hmm. So I, I'm saying this. I was reading the Bible, and hmm. in the Bible, hmm. in Matthew, Jesus said, "We must baptize people in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost." Hmm. And then, and I read later on. Peter came down, Peter, which was the disciple of Jesus. Mm. And then Peter, on the day of Pentecost, they asked Peter, what can we do to be saved? Peter said, you must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. So now can you explain to me what happened now? Because Peter was a disciple of Jesus. Mm. How can Peter contradict his own master? Because mm. Jesus where, said, where, where, is the, where, is the where is the contradiction? Where is the contradiction? Where is the contradiction? What okay, is my the, contra what is the contradiction? contradiction? Yes. 95% of the church in the no, world. No, no, are no, no, no. Focus on the topic. The focus on the question. Focus on the verse. Focus in the in the verses you gave me. What is the contradiction? Okay, the contradiction is hmm. you are not following what the Bible is saying. Because in your Bible, there have never been a person who was baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. But the church is today as Christians. Or so called Christian, let me, let me ask you, let me ask you, let me ask you, let me, let me ask you, let me ask you, let me ask you, let me ask you, do the Christian believe, do the, oh, blah, 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 blah. do the Christian believe, do the Christian believe that the Father, the Son, oops, you don't want to have a conversation, I listen to you, but you don't want to talk to me, you just want to shout, do the Christian okay, believe, do the Christian I'm believe thinking. that, I want do the say, Christian I'm believe in one God, yes or no? You say, sir, do the Christian believe in one God, yes or no? Christian believe in many, they are some, some believe in three God as a trinity, some That's, believe in one God. The trinity so, is I don't one know. God, the trinity is one God. Don't don't play games. The Christian believe in one God, the trinity is nothing but how God he presents himself in three persons, but they believe in one God. And let me get you busted. Isn't it the Quran I, who said, Isn't it the Quran? Are you saying that the Quran? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The Quran say the Christian believe that Jesus is Allah. The Quran, are you accusing? Are you accusing the Quran to be a false book when the Quran says that the Christian believe that Jesus is Allah? 
Do you agree with the Quran or you don't agree with the Quran? Sir, you are not answering my question. I'm answering the question. You said to me, we believe in three gods. You are a liar. The Quran itself confirmed that the Christian believe in one God. They claim that the Messiah, he himself is Allah. Is that a true? Okay, let, let, let's say if it's true. No, don't tell me. Problem. Don't tell me it's okay. Don't tell me. No, no, it. don't tell me. Let's okay. Let's say. Let us say. Don't tell me. Let us say. Don't tell me. I don't. I don't. I don't go by. Don't let us say. Either you confirm what the Quran say. Either you agree with the Quran. The Quran say the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah, which means they believe in one God. So either you agree with the Quran or you don't agree. Do you agree with the Quran or not? I know, I know in your Bible. You do not know. God Answer one, me first. You are not don't tell me about my Bible. Don't, 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 you see, you are, you are a coward. You don't want to answer. How the Quran confirmed that the Christian believe that the Messiah, he is himself, is Allah. And then you say, you claim that we believe in three gods. Are you accusing that your God, Allah, is not knowledgeable about what we believe? Sir? Sir, answer Sometimes the question. Don't serve me. Don't serve me. Don't don't me. Don't 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 Listen, don't play games with me. I have no time. Either you confirm what Allah said or you say Allah is a liar. Go ahead. Okay, I confirm. I confirm. Okay, sir. so I you confirm. did lie to us when you said the Christian believe in three gods because the Quran confirmed that we believe in one God and that is the Messiah who is God himself, who is Allah himself. Even the Quran says yeah. that the Christians, the Christians say that the Messiah is Allah. Why you yes, are, sir, then why you are lying? The, then the, why the, the apologize, you apologize? In, apologize you for lying. One God, let me read I for you what the Quran said. Let me read for you what the Quran says. لقد كفر الذين قالوا إن الله هو المسيح ابن مريم. Those who they say that Allah is the Messiah, they are kufar. So why you did lie? Say the Christian believe in three gods when your Quran confirm that the Christian believe in one God that is the Messiah who is Allah according to Islam. Why you lie? Can, can, can I? Why you did can lie? Why you did lie? No, why you are accusing? I, why you are accusing? Why you are accusing, you are accusing your God? Why you are accusing your God to be? You, shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! First of all, question. secondly, secondly, when you read the verse, it says that. Go and baptize in the name of Jesus. That is Jesus is God. When we say in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, it's still the same. Because when they ask Jesus, why you don't show us the Father and that's it? They say, Jesus said to them, I am with you all the this time. You did not know me yet. The one who saw me, he saw the Father. Me and the Father is oh. one. So you are a liar like okay. you're a prophet and you are speaking against your Quran and the same time you did not okay. answer me What kind of God he sent okay. a book? It's called Injil. He could not protect the Injil Why your God is a shish kebab boy anyone can spank him to the point he sent can a I book Allah Allah he sent 124,000 books. Where are they? Can you tell me? Uh, where are I they? agree with you. I'm here because I, I want the truth. I want the truth. Where is the books? Where is the books of the 124,000 books? Can I also speak? Sir? You can sir, speak. Can I speak? But you need to answer me. I, I, ask, I answered you about your question. I get you busted. Even your Allah don't agree oh, with you. Okay. And you, you are a liar. Answer? Now answer me. Then you are, where, you are is running, where is the Injil? Where is the running? Where is the Injil which is sent by Allah? Where is the Injil which is sent by Allah? What happened to it? Can I speak, sir? Where is the engine which is sent? You are talking. I'm no, asking. You. We are talking. Thank you. Are talking. Thank it's, you. A, it's a conversation. You asked okay, me. No, you asked me about no, Jesus. No problem. You asked me about contradiction. Wait, I'm going to, Everybody is watching. I, I answered going, you. I answered you in full. I'm going, now answer me. It's my turn. It's my, it's my turn to ask you a question. It is my turn to ask you a question. Where is the Injil? Where is the Injil which Allah He sent to Isa? I want to know what happened to the Injil. Show me, show me the word Trinity just once in the Bible. Show me why they baptize someone in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost or become a Christian today. Okay, it's, hold on. It's simple. It's let, a simple. Let me show you. Let show me, me just let one me show you. Let me show you. Let me, let me show you. Let me show you. So if I Christian. show you the Trinity, you will leave Islam? I will leave, I will leave Islam. Show me just one place no where problem. there's Trinity in the Bible. Place first of all, let me ask, let me the name ask of you, what, and, let, let, and then let, we'll become let me, a, a let me Christian. ask you first, what do you understand when we say Trinity as a Christian? What do you mean by Trinity? Do you know? Do you understand what the Christian mean by Trinity? 
What's yes, it? I'm going to answer you. What do you mean? No, no, me? first, uh, tell me, tell me. I first have a good understand. memory. So, you so I will explain Trinity, to you. So I will explain to you what what a Trinity means for you. When you when you say the word Trinity, what does Trinity mean? Have a person without you a personality. You agree, Abdul? Oh, Shish kebab. Oh, stop oh, eating, drinking camel urine. I'm asking oh, you. Don't you want me to answer you? You stupid. I'm asking you. When you say when the Christians what? say the word Trinity, do you know what a Trinity means? I'm going to explain to you what the Trinity means. Okay, tell you me. Ask me a question. Huh? Okay, what the Trinity mean? Okay, I'm going to explain to you, sir. No. The Trinity, according to the Christian, mm. according to what you said to me, is mm. three person in God. So if you say three person in God, you cannot three have person a person. In one. Three person. Three person in one. You, person in one. you yes. have. Do you agree? Person. Do you agree? I'm also a person. Do you agree? So you cannot three, three person in one. Do you agree? Three person, but they are one. Do you agree? Out three person in one, sir, is English. All right. A person let me, see, let me show you let me show you how we stupid what you you just get you, you just you just get yourself busted from the Quran if we go in the Quran in chapter 4 verse 171 it says that the Messiah is a messenger of Allah he is the messenger of Allah read with me carefully you know how to read English right all people of the yes, book yes, commit no excuse in your religion nor say Allah ought that but the truth Christ Jesus the, the son of Mary was the messenger of Allah. He was what? Take a note. He is a messenger of Allah. This is number one. Mm -hmm. And he is mm -hmm. his word. He is what? He is the word of God. And he is, and in, in, in which he bestowed on Mary and the spirit proceeding from him. So Jesus is a three in one. He is the messenger. He is the word. He is the spirit proceeding from God. How you refuse the Trinity when your stupid Quran confirmed the Trinity? How okay, Jesus sir. can be, sir. how he can be three, how, how he can be the word, explain to us how he can be the word, how he can be the spirit, how he can be the man, but he is one. All right, sir. can I, can I answer that? Sure. The Quran say we have only one God. This is not the and question. Say, this is not the question. The this is not the question. Is the this is not the question. The question is how Jesus is the word of God, the spirit of God, and he is the man. Who is in the flesh? How he is a three in one? This is not the question. This is the question I'm giving you. Don't don't ask something else. I did not ask you. So how he can be three and one in the same time? We are listening. Okay, okay. I'm going to explain to you. Jesus is not three or is not one. Jesus is the Son of God, and Jesus being the Son of God. Answer and the, Quran, the Bible says, "Answer Bible, the Quran." Don't be, stupid, don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. I want you to answer the Quran. How Jesus the Quran? The but you are a potato. You will not answer. You are a potato. You will not answer. The Quran says, but you, you, you idiot. How can you have the you idiot. What's wrong with you? you? God. Why you don't want to answer? Why you don't want to answer? The Quran says that Jesus is a man. He is the Word of God. He is the Spirit of God. This is not my question. My question is not about the Bible now. My question is about your Quran. Answer me. How he is a three, no, but yet he is one person. No, how he is a three? Me, we gonna, we gonna how he is a three? Person. You coward! You will not answer. You in the Bible and the Quran. You coward! You so will not answer show. because you are in a trouble. How he is a three, but he is one. Are you saying Allah is wrong? Are you saying Allah is wrong? Are you saying Allah is wrong? Jesus is not a three, but one in the same time. Are you saying that? I'm saying you are contradicting your own book because your book says Jesus is the beginning of the creation of God. If it's the beginning of the creation of God, can you explain that to me? There's no verse because that says that, you idiot. It, it says that he is the beginning and he is the end, which means I am the Alpha, I am the Omega, which means the beginning of everything. Everything was created by him and for him, which is what the Bible says. So he is the beginning of time, which means before, before his creation, before he created you, there was nothing. This is what it says. And you are stupid. You do not know what you are talking about. However, if we go in the hadith, your prophet, he said that Allah, before he created the earth and the heaven, there was nothing but air above him and air up, down underneath of him. And he was above the water. How there is air, how there is above them air, and there's underneath of him air, and yet there is water underneath, but yet he did not create anything. Who is the one who created those things? That is the stupid religion of Islam. Now answer me. How Jesus can be three, but yet one, as the Quran explained to us in chapter 4, verse 171. Are you going to answer that or no?
I'm going to answer you according to your own Bible. You are not the answering. Bible. You are no, you don't answer me about my Bible. No, you do not know my Bible because if you cannot answer your Quran, there's no way you can answer about my Bible. This is my book. You do not know what it is about it. So how about you answer oh, your no, Quran? How you how you Muslims refuse? I, 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 how stupid it is that I, I, refuse that Jesus is three in one in the same time when your Quran saying that. This is why you don't want to answer. It's embarrassing. It's a I'm, stupid book. I'm it's the same. Ask, it's the same verse, guys. Guys, look at problem. this. Look, look we, at this. The we, same, we, the same we verse. People. It is the we same verse. <laughs> it is the same verse, guys. The same verse saying, "Say no Trinity." Is the same verse saying Jesus is the Trinity. The same verse in the Quran. This is how stupid the Quran is, and this is why this Abdul he don't want to answer. He want to keep talking. So I repeat my question again. You cannot run away with the Christian prince. You have to answer me. How Jesus can be three, but yet one in the same time. Otherwise, you are running away. Are you going to answer? Say I'm not running. Then answer. We are going how how Allah did you do you think so Allah made a mistake? Question, do you think Allah made a mistake? My was, do you think where Trinity the, my, friend, my, friend, my, friend, my 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 friend, let me show you how stupid you are. Question, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. All the topic. Shut up. Let me show you how stupid you are. If I answer you from no the Bible, problem. you don't believe in the Bible anyway. If I spend 10 hours no. reading for you verses from the Bible, you will say, I don't believe in it anyway. But now because I got you busted from the Quran, you don't want to yeah. answer that. This is the point. This is the point. I answered you. I got you busted from your book, and you don't want to read with me what your Quran saying that Jesus is a three, but yet he is one in the same time. This is why you are trying to yeah, run away from it. Yeah. You found that your I prophet he, he your made a poopoo now, I'll and your God you. is a stupid, he cannot I'll be God for I'll saying I'll that I'll Jesus cannot be I'll one of the Trinity, I'll but yet he is the Trinity. So are you going to answer the verse or not? You say, sir. Are you going to answer the question I asked you since 30 minutes ago? How the Quran makes such a mistake that Jesus is a three, but yet he is one. Are you going to answer or not? You never ask my question. Show me one place in the Bible they baptize someone in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and I'll become a Christian today. If you answer me this question, I will show you many places. Are you are you are you happy for that? No problem. Give me just one place where they okay. Answer, in answer the, the question the I just gave you. Answer the question I just gave you. Answer the question I just gave you. How Allah He confirmed that Jesus is a three in one. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna answer you. Okay. Jesus is a three in one. Mm. That means he's not a part. Okay. Jesus was a man. He was a man. Are you sure? And Yes, I'm sure, hundred percent sure. Okay, and because and even your own Bible say God didn't want sacrifice, He didn't want offering, but He created Himself a body, and mm. that body was Jesus, and that body was created in Mary, and Jesus was a man, and He grew up, and they say He learned through suffering, and He became perfect, and He had wisdom through suffering. Your own Bible said that. That means Jesus was growing even in wisdom, and mm. He was a man. Okay. Will the Bible confirm that Jesus is a man? No problem. But it's answering me about the verse now. How Jesus is a man, but he is the word and he is a spirit in the same time. He is the word of God, and he is a spirit proceeding from God, proceeding from God. How he is a three but one in the same time. So I'm going to explain that to you. Now it means that the spirit of God who is invisible, the God, the true God, was living in Jesus. The day when they baptized Jesus at the river of Jordan, which was a man, and then when they baptized him, when the spirit came, and then he became Christ. Now, being Christ, Christ was a spirit, and then after he was dead, and after the resurrection, if I can put that way, and then he became Lord, and then he became the three in one in one man called Jesus. But the man Jesus himself was a man, was not God. Anyone understand anything? How he is a three and one at the same time. So are you saying to me it's possible for a person to be three and one at the same time? No, no, no. You can't be three and one at the same time. It's so the Quran English says that. You, oh, you are not reading the verse for me. You are, you are making giving me a speech. The Quran says that Jesus is the word of God. He is in the same time. He's a man, messenger, and he is a spirit proceeding from God. This is the question. You are giving me a speech about something I did not ask for. So how he is a three 
as a spirit as a word as a man but yet one person is he one person okay, or three sir. person in one is he one person is he three person yeah yeah i'll be honest with you i've never came across that scripture or that part in the quran so I you came know. you That's came ac ac you came across all the scriptures in the bible but you never came across your quran yes i'm i'm, I'm honest i don't know that part but I, but is, how, how funny it is I, and that will not to change the topic my friend if you came through the part or you don't came to the report you have to answer me how he is a three in one who cares if you came through it or not here we go all each time Muslim call me he said I never heard this before I'm showing you the verse in the front of you this is your Muslim translation it's not my book it's your book yet you cannot say to me I never came through it you can't you are calling me here to prove to me something and I got you busted Trinity is a proven to be true and look here how Allah he said that Jesus is a spirit proceeding from him What it does mean proceeding from him? It's mean the spirit of Jesus is connected to God Does that mean that Jesus spirit is God spirit? Okay, so I'm going to answer your question when they say the spirit proceeding from God hmm. it means in the beginning when you go in the beginning hmm. God is only one God and that God was the God of all things the great now being that great spirit he can he could not create in that form and then he made himself a form which they, they call it the word and then from the word they call it the sun the word in other words it, it, it means the sun now being the sun it was that spirit you can call that way also in the spirit in the spirit spiritual realm came down Sp spiritual and what? then they say they, they call it the spiritual word, what made flesh Spiritual what you, you say? say? Spiritual what you call it? Spiritual, spiritual what? Helem. 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 Ah, okay. So what does that mean? Now, how how he is a proceeding from God, from Him, proceeding. Is what I'm saying now. Mm -hmm. That 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 uh, invisible God came in a, in a, in a, in a form called the Word. It's, it was it was the light, and that light came down. And to dwell in a man, a man called Jesus. Okay, so that, Jesus, that, that you, you just said that Jesus is light. No, 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 no. The, the, the word or the light came into a man called Jesus. No, no, you just said it's a light. Did I hear the word light or no? I said light, yes. So what light, light? What, what who is who is who is light? Who is the light? Jesus? No, no. The light was God, and then that light God came to, to dwell in a man called Jesus. This is what the Quran teach. We read the Quran between the line because we have so to you are saying so you are saying that the Quran says that God he came as a man he was a light and then he came as a man the Quran says that yes where it's not about where even in your Bible when you read the Bible friend, you don't, don't tell me it's about where you said to me the Quran said that a second ago I asked you who is the one who's saying that. You said the Quran, okay. Where in the Quran it says that Allah came down as a man, but he was a light? I'm trying to explain your scripture because you asked me, my friend. You have never in order to explain to me the scripture, you have to show me the scripture where it says what, what you are explaining. Where in the Quran it says that Allah is a light who came down as a man and he dwelt between mankind. Where it says that? I'm, I'm explaining the scripture you gave me because I said you have never came my friend where is that where in the scriptures that? I gave you the scriptures I gave you it's about Jesus so are you saying that to me that Jesus is God I'm not saying Jesus is God I'm but saying you are Jesus saying you are the one who said that that God he wasn't who was a light he came down as a man who is the one they are talking about him here is Jesus who is the man the you man just, is Jesus. You just say that God, I, he came as a man. I mean, you just, you just say, I mean, everybody heard you. You just say God, that God I, is a light who came down to dwell between mankind as a man. Who is, how God, he came as a man. And who is that man who is God? Is what I'm trying to explain to you. Who is that Jesus man? Jesus and of God in him. And that man was Jesus. And oh, Jesus so was a God, man. So God was in Jesus in Islam? Yes, I believe so. Ah. So you just said to me now you are trying to debate me to prove to me the Trinity is false You just confirm the Trinity that God is in no, Jesus no. and Jesus is in God No, 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 no. How can God be in Jesus and Jesus? You are the God. one who can said that to me. You just said you just said that God came inside Jesus 
You say to me, you, you say to me yeah. that God came in the person of Jesus. He came inside the form of Jesus. Okay, hold on. Let's, let's go slowly, slowly. You say, Allah, he came inside Jesus. Correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. And what does that mean? Who is inside Jesus? Allah. Okay. So now when, when Jesus talk, who is talking? Jesus or Allah? There was a time that Jesus, the man, was talking. There was a time also Allah was speaking through Jesus. Okay. But Allah is inside Jesus. Yes. As what? As a spirit. As a spirit. That's wonderful. So guys, yes. Jesus, listen to this. This guy is a Muslim. He just said that Allah is inside Jesus and he was as a spirit inside Jesus. That's wonderful. So now we have, we prove two things of the Trinity. That Jesus is a man and Jesus himself, inside him, there is the spirit of God, which is Allah, according to yes. this Muslim. That's wonderful. Now, yes. the Quran said that he is the word. So now we have one missing. How he is the word? The word. Okay, I'm going to explain to you what is the word. Hmm. The word is nothing else but God himself. Because God in a form called the word. And then that word was made flesh in a man. My point was Jesus was a man. And that word came in Jesus, which was a man. I'm dying from laughing. You just approved to us the Trinity, my friend. You call me to defeat oh. the Trinity. You just approved the Trinity. You just said that. Everybody heard you. You just said that Jesus is the Word of God and God is inside okay. Jesus and Jesus yet is a man. That is the Trinity. You just said that God and Jesus and the Spirit is one person or God in one and in, 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 in one person. His name is Jesus. So when we talk to Jesus, we talk to God at the same time. The word of Jesus is the word of God. The word of Allah is the word of Jesus. Speaking to Jesus, seeing Jesus is seeing Allah, for Allah is inside Jesus. So you just confirm to us from your explanation that the three in one is Jesus, God, and the Spirit in one person in the earth. Thank you very much. Okay. You just gave yeah. me a perfect answer. You Muslims are, yeah. are the most funny religion in the world. How you call me to prove to me that there's no trinity and then you explain to us that Allah is inside Jesus and he is inside him as a spirit. And Jesus is a man. But yet when he talked, he talked the word of God. So he is the word, he is the man, and he is the spirit of God in the same time. Well, you just confirmed the Trinity. The only difference between our Trinity and yours, that we believe that Jesus come in the flesh, yes, but he has existed before. He was a man. Jesus said, before Abraham I am. The Jews, they said to him, how you can say before Abraham you are when you are not even 50 years old? He said, I say to you the truth that before Abraham I am and he saw my day. He witnessed my day. So the existence of Jesus had nothing to, to do with the birth of Jesus, which means the existence of the word of God is the Alpha and the Omega. The existence of God as a man. God, he came as a man before he came as Jesus. He came to Abraham. So now you confirm to us and everybody heard this, you will become famous in YouTube, that you as a Muslim believe that Jesus, inside him there is Allah. How small Allah is to be inside Jesus? Okay, sir. Sir, sir listen. Listen, sir. I phone you to ask you a question. We are and talking. You are you, don't, 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 you see, you know, I answer your question. You just, actually, you are the one who helped me to answer your question. You just did. You just to prove to me my, that Islam is a stupid religion. You, you call me to ask me a question about contradiction, about, about, about the, the baptism. My friend, when the Bible says, go and baptize in the name of Jesus, and you are the one who just said to me that God is inside Jesus. The word of God is inside Jesus. The spirit of God is inside the Jesus. So in the name of Jesus is mean in the name of the three of them. You just answer yourself. So when I say go okay. and baptize okay. in the name of the Father, the okay. Son, the Holy Spirit, I'm giving you details. But the fact we know that Jesus himself, when he got baptized himself, we have the Spirit who speak about Jesus, say, this is my son, the one who is blessed. So you confirm to us what the Bible confirmed. In the beginning, in the beginning, it was what? It was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word is God. John chapter 1, verse number 1. Then in verse number 40, it says, and the word became a flesh. And you just confirmed that everybody heard you saying that the word of Allah came down and okay. became a flesh of a man. And that was yeah. God. He was a light. You just said, hold on, hold on. You are the one who said that Jesus was light in heaven. He came down. He became a man. Inside Jesus, there is the spirit of God. Did you say that or not? 
Okay, sir. But uh, li- listen, listen, sir. Listen, <laughs> listen carefully, please. Now, they go the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Who is the Father of Jesus? Who is the Father of Jesus then? My friend, when we say the Father, we don't talk about a guy who married my mother. The Father mm, is, okay. is, is the person of God in heaven. The Son is the person okay. of God in earth as a man. The Spirit is the person of God when he's a spirit between us. Jesus, he said, every two of you, mention my name, I will be between you. And that is impossible unless you are, because where is he? He must be the in uh, invisible spirit. So Jesus is with mm -hmm. us as a spirit. Jesus is with us as mm -hmm. a man. Jesus is with us as in heaven. So when we speak about Jesus, in order to understand what the, the, the Trinity is, we have to listen to what Jesus said. When they asked Jesus to show him the Father, he said, show us the Father, and that's it. He said, I am with you all this time. You do not know me. The one who saw me, he saw the Father. And you confirmed that. You said to us that Allah is inside Jesus. So when we look at Jesus, we see who? We see Jesus and Allah in the same time, according to you. For sure, we don't believe in Allah. Allah has mean nothing for us as a fake God. But you are, by your religion, in your religion, if we, if we assume that when you say Allah, for you, Allah is a name of God, but I will let it go as God. So you just say that Jesus inside him there's God and he speak the word of God and you said to me sometimes Jesus speak as a man and sometimes speak as Jesus as God I mean that is the most funny thing ever I heard which means that Jesus when he wish he can be the man who speak and when he wish he can be Allah who speak so Jesus is in control of Allah how he can no, do no, that no, no. you, you can, are the, you, Aren't you the one who said that to me? I believe. Aren't you the one who said that okay, to me? Okay, can, can I can I speak? I believe. I believe that Jesus was inspired. So sometimes. No, no, no. You did not say that. You did not say that. You said Allah is inside Jesus. Don't change your word now. You said Allah is inside Jesus, and sometimes Jesus he speak as Allah, and sometimes Allah speak. Don't tell me. Don't tell me he was inspired. This is not about inspiration. Inspiration. God is not inside my body. That is not inspiration. God inspire you, but he don't go inside your body. He speak to you, to your mind. But you said that God, your God Allah, is inside Jesus. Everybody heard you saying that. And you confirmed that many times. I confirm it. I confirm See? it. See? So I, that's I wonderful. So now we have God is inside Jesus according to you. Correct? Yes. So now who is Correct. the center of the universe when God is inside Jesus? God is the center of the universe, but He is inside Jesus. Yes. So who is the the one in controlling the universe? Then, isn't it Jesus? It's God. But Allah Himself is inside Jesus. It's God. Jesus only could okay. only do Allah, what Allah He go him. Allah He go inside Jesus. Who is bigger here? You see, Muslim, you say Allah Akbar. Akbar means bigger. So. When Allah is inside Jesus, that means God is inside his creation. Do you agree? I agree. Okay. So you Muslims have no problem that God is going inside his creation? No problem for me. I don't know about other people. No, but I mean, this is your religion, right? This is what you believe? Is that you, is, you are making an assumption or this is what you Muslim believe? Oh, no, that is my view. I believe. Okay. I believe religion. So, so now, okay. so based on what you said, you have God who is inside a man. Correct. All right. In order for God to be inside, let us say a container, whatever it is, shouldn't the container be holy? Yes, it should be okay. holy. That means Jesus is holy. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. Holy. How Jesus is holy, but yet he's a man? Because Jesus was a sacrifice. My friend, this is not a question. Your prophet said, Every son of an Adam is a sinner. Did you hear this before? Yes, yes. Okay, so you just said that Jesus is holy. Even Muhammad, the Quran confirmed that he's a sinner. So as long as you confirm that Jesus is holy, you just confirm that he's God because only God is holy. Human being is sinners. No, sir. Jesus was a man. Okay, he can you name man. for me? Hold on. Can you name for me one person in, in, in the holy world? According to Islam, he was holy. Jesus was holy. Additional to Jesus. Anyone? No one. So even Muhammad is not holy. So Jesus must be God. No. 
No, it's not. My it's friend, not the how, how and why oh. only Jesus in the whole universe is holy? As I know that only God is holy. And you are saying to me, and I agree with you, Jesus is holy. So now we have we have an agreement. That's wonderful. So how Jesus is a man, normal man, and yet he is the only one in the whole universe. Even Muhammad himself is not holy. How that can happen? What what is special about Jesus that he don't commit sin? Because when you say he's holy, it's mean he never commits sin, and he he, he his his nature is holiness. But he's a man. How a man can be holy to the point he never commits sin? Explain to us. Okay, I'll explain to you because when Jesus came, he came for a purpose, and that purpose he came to save the Israelis. Now, for, for him to do that, he came as the Messiah, and they were supposed to kill him for his sacrifice, and that's why he was supposed to be holy, which was for a certain purpose. So Jesus was sacrificed? Yes, he was. But the Muslims, they say that Jesus was not killed. Is what I'm, I'm saying to you, I'm here for the truth because this is my own opinion okay. and I'm speaking according okay. to myself. But let, but let us go, let us go, let us go by, by your opinion. You just said that yes. Jesus, because he is the sacrifice, he must be holy, correct? Yes. And because the whole earth have nothing holy, so Jesus have to come. Yes. Correct. So Jesus came from above, from heaven. And this is why, mm. that explains why he's holy. Do you agree? Yes, that's wonderful. So the holiness of Jesus, not because of the nature of the man on earth, but because the nature of the one who is coming from heaven, correct? Yes. So the nature of Jesus have nothing to do with the nature of the man. He is man by flesh, yes, but the nature of holiness is coming from heaven. Yes. Okay. How he earned that, that nature of being holy in heaven. It was simple. It was when they baptized him, then the Spirit of God came upon him. Yeah, but he's holy before he come to earth because if you commit sin once, my friend, if you commit sin once in your lifetime, that's it, you are a sinner. Correct? Yes, because okay. it's easy. So Jesus, because Jesus, before he, he, came, before he got he baptized, my friend, hold on, hold on. Jesus, before, when we say Jesus is holy, we have to agree that Jesus never commits sin regardless he was baptized the baptism or not all what the baptism was about is to announce that who is he but Jesus we agree you agree and I agree mm -hmm. that Jesus was mm -hmm. holy and he was he sent down from heaven so before he was exist as a man he was something else in heaven what he was in heaven no 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 no, no. what he, he was in heaven know. okay no you said to me that he he was in heaven you said that to me no, we have to agree on that. We have to agree on this one. Okay, what 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 he was in heaven? Jesus before he came to earth. God, what he was? God God was in heaven. Okay. I say God was So in God heaven. came to earth, he became a man. So God came to he earth, became, became Jesus. He came to live in a man. That, okay. that is the English. He That's wonderful. Guys, guys, listen carefully. This gentleman here he just said that he agree that God he come to live in a man, and that man is Jesus. So if you want to talk to Allah, you talk to Jesus. Yes. If you want to pray to Allah, you pray to Jesus. If you want to ask Allah, ask Jesus. So who is Jesus? No, no, that is not that. I think you are taking in a wrong direction, sir. I think let me just try to maybe present myself again. Then you can understand the, we, we understand the kind of my, my, my thought of what I'm trying to bring across. I'm here representing myself and what I believe because I've, I've taken my time to read a bit of the Quran and the Bible as well. Um, as, I, as I said before, I am here because I want to find the truth. That's why I can answer your question and I'm trying to be honest. Go and ahead, I'm go about Jesus. Don't, don't give me an interruption. Okay. Just go to the topic, please. Go. Okay, I'm going back to the topic again. My first question was because I spoke to a few pastors, they couldn't answer me. Because I'm interested, I'm interested about Christianity. I want to find more. I find it interesting. Hmm. But there's only one thing that I couldn't really understand was Trinity. And when I went in the Bible, Jesus said that we need to baptize people in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Hmm. But his own disciple, when he came, he baptized people in the name of Jesus Christ. And you are saying to me it was the same thing. But when I go and read the Bible, it's completely different. The name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, which is title. But the Jesus Christ is a name, 
and there's not even one person which was baptized my friend there's not, not a single the in the there's not a single okay, verse you, there's not a single you, verse not a single verse in the bible says that they did not baptize in the name of the father the son the holy spirit it's not true the verse is saying they baptize in the name of jesus which means by the name of the order of jesus from where they got their authority to baptize jesus gave them the authority so in the name of jesus mean in the name of my lord so who i am to speak to you in the name of jesus i cast the devil out of you in the name of jesus i pray to heal you in the name of jesus the bible full of this so it doesn't mean that god the father god the son god the holy spirit disappear in the name of jesus you speak of what believe in the whole book by the authority of jesus that's what it's meant so you don't explain the bible as you wish when you wish this is my book Okay. You see, when I go, when I when I debate Muslims, oh, okay, sir. hold on, hold on. When I debate Muslims, when I, I debate Muslims, I show them what the Muslims mm. believe about a verse, not what I believe, because that is not fair. So, if the Muslim no, believe if the verse saying yeah, something, I'm, I'm, okay, the Muslim sir, believe in that, so we I'm go by their belief. So now I'm asking you, light. let us go back. Give me the light. Let us go yes, back. To, to let us go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. So now no, you no, say, no, you no, say no. that Jesus, Jesus. And Allah, they live together in one body. No, no, I think you are running from my question, sir. I, I, I just explained to you that I'm here to find the light, and I, I want to understand. Not to find the light. You just and found I, the light. You found that Jesus, but, that God is inside Jesus. You found the light. You just, you just said, you just said, you just said, you just said that God, He live inside Jesus. Did you say that or no? I said that. I how He can, that. how He can live inside Jesus, and why? Why? Sir, Why? That is not my question. My, you want this is my question. This my is my question. question. Is, this is my question. I answer you about your question. Why Allah is inside it? Jesus? What He's doing no. there? What He is doing my there? Question. Why Allah is inside no. Jesus? What He's doing there? You never answer my question. My I question answer was, you. Everybody is my witness. Want, I answer you. I answer you. The Bible says tons of time. When, when the Bible says in the name of Jesus, that means in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Because by the name of Jesus, I get the authority. By the name of Jesus, I pray to heal you. By the name of Jesus, I pray to save you. By the name of Jesus, but doesn't mean that there's no Father and there's no Son and there's no Holy Spirit. By the name of Jesus is, I am sent by why, Jesus why, why? in the name of Jesus. Name of my friend, there's a group of people that came. There's a group of people. No, no, listen, I, I'm, I'm done with you. You got busted. A group of people, they said they came to Jesus. They said there's people who they are doing miracles in your name they are casting demon in your name in your name and jesus said it's fine let them in your name so in your name in the bible you speak about the authority of jesus not the authority of someone else so either you want to answer me i answer you or you want to waste my time mm -hmm. allah is inside jesus yep. doing what Sir, with all respect, can you just listen to me? I'm I, here. I answered you. I want, I want my life. answer. Allah, you, you confirm that Allah is inside I, Jesus. Doing what? I, I follow you. I, I have. I want an answer. You see, answer I, I don't like, I don't like kids talk. Jesus. I don't like kids talk. I like adult talk. So either you want to answer me or you want to answer me. Allah is inside Jesus. Doing what? He came for a purpose. What I'm trying to do doing what I have for, for a purpose for sure for a purpose. This is the, this is my question. What is the purpose? Why Allah is inside Jesus? He was inside because he was supposed to die. He's what? For the work of redemption. For redemption. What redemption? Allah what, what redemption? If if redemption if, if Allah wanna sacrifice a man, he go inside him. Yes. Why? What that will do exactly because 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 of sin no one could save each other then god was supposed to come and then be in a man and then being in a man is the only the only god who's supposed to redeem people if i can Guys, did you hear this supposed to... people did you hear this did you hear this he just said that his god allah he came and became a man did you hear it you just you just said that that God became a man. So you just admitted that God and Jesus is one. No, everybody no, no. everybody heard you. 
Everybody Did heard I... you. It's recorded, my friend. It's recorded. It's, it is recorded. You said you said because to redeem God have to come as a man. You said that he have to become as a man. So you just admitted that your God Allah became a man. Who is this man according to you? He is Jesus. Okay, sir. I admit. Let's say. Let's say I admit that. Okay. God so now let me ask you why King. Allah he need then because that mean if Allah became a man, based on you, and that is Jesus. And Jesus is the Spirit, because you said He's a Spirit in the same time. You just said that Allah is a three in one. Allah is inside Jesus. Spirit is inside Jesus and Jesus three in one. Okay, let let agree is is true. Let's say it's true. No, I, don't I, don't I tell me. Don't tell me. Saying. Don't tell me. Let Can us you say. Either you say okay, I agree, or you say I don't agree. Don't I don't want to. I don't like it to be lousy. So, when you say okay, okay I agree. agree with it okay. that Allah okay. and and Jesus Spirit and the Spirit is one person. I'll, I'm gonna humble myself. I agree what you are saying. Okay, I agree. All right, that's why I agree. Okay, not a problem. Can I? Can I? Can you now help me? Because I'm here because I want the light. Hmm. I've been following you for a long time, hmm. and I want you to help me. What help you? Can you with now what? help Help me? you? Help you with what? Can you help me? Because uh, I want to understand first. Because they say to me the first step into Christianity is the baptism, but I can't find in the Bible where they baptize people in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Can you now help me, my friend? Because all the verses, the Bible, all the verses. I just answered people. you. I, I think I think you are not listening. All the verses when they speak, go and baptize in the name of Jesus. It's mean by the name and the teaching of Jesus. Those are the followers of Jesus, not the followers of someone else. Which means whatever Jesus said, we follow what he said. When I say, in the name of God, should I read the whole book for you? Or whatever God he said to me? When I say to you, when I say to you, I am a policeman, I am here in the name of the law. Should I give you the whole law? I have understand that one okay. also, sir. So, so but, I, but I just book... gave you the answer, my friend. All the Christians, since the beginning of Christianity, they baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Because Jesus, he made it clear, then there's no need to repeat it the same as in the Quran. The Quran, you read the same story, you repeat it over and over and over because Muhammad, he have nothing to say. So, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And that is confirmed by the action and the teaching. In the name of Jesus is the same as in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, which means in the name of Jesus is the authority and the teaching. In the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, this is Jesus speaking, saying how you do it, the details. So I answered you. You don't want to believe me. It's up to you. But all the Christians, no, sir, sir, all, the Christians that, all the Christians, all the Christians, all the Christians, they, I want never, to they, they never baptize. You will not I find one Christian, my friend. Hold on. You will never find one Christian baptized in the name of Jesus alone. Never. So either you understand Christianity as a Christian understand, or you make your own version of it, and you are free. You can be, uh, okay. you can create Jehovah's Witnesses if you want. So we we tell help you what me, we believe. Help, help me. No, sir, help me, please, please, sir. Uh, I've I've read in the Bible, and in the, the early Christian. They all baptized in the name of Jesus Christ alone. Don't, you know, you are saying to me they are not Christian. That's not true, my friend. Because they are the ones. No, that's, not, that's, not, that's not true. That's not true. There's nothing. It's called early Christian. They believe they they all, baptize in the name of Jesus all, alone. All, all baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Means in, the in the name of the authority of Jesus. I told you what does that mean? In the name of Jesus, okay. I pray to heal you. Where is my power coming from? It's not my own. In the name of God. In the name of the King. That is not about the details, it's about the authority. So either you want to be stubborn repeating yourself forever, or you speak as much as I'm you wish. There's no early using, Christian, there's no I'm early Christian not, exist. Not, not a single yeah. church. Listen, not a single church. Since the beginning of Christianity, teach in the name of Jesus alone. And I challenge show me one of them do that. The Orthodox, okay. the Catholic, no, the Protestant. None of them. Don't, so don't make Can a speech. Don't a make up stories. Don't make up uh, stories. Don't make up a new religion. Don't come with a conclusion is not there. So either you say, you either, either you say, I, I, I'm done with you. I'm done. I'm done with you. Just go.
you just admitted that Jesus is God and this is more than enough for me I'm not going to waste my time in the name of Jesus that is additional proof don't don't call me again you're just a kid I got what I want when you say in the name of Jesus you just confirm to me that Jesus must be God himself because how God and Jesus they match in the same person hello hello CP hey my friend how are you I'm fine how are you I'm alive and kicking <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> I think we need to pray for this man at least um, he says some, says things that uh, a normal Muslim would never say and um, well he's I, I think that he's trying to um, search and, and find the truth um, well uh, in the name I, I, I don't know if, if he's still listening yes. in the name of of the Father Son and Holy Spirit means Jesus is Yahweh the Savior so he has the same name as the Father and the Holy Spirit that means when baptizing in in the name of the name singular of Father Son and Holy Spirit that is the name Yahweh or, or, or Jehovah some say Yehovah that is that is the name and uh, whoever has the son has also the father that is what what Jesus said that is that is the authority and that is what he needs to understand yeah well i explained to him that you know that's uh, when they say in the name of jesus when i say in the name of etc i just told you in the name of who i'm doing my act as simple right. as that it's not me announcing you the whole book to you whatever what jesus said but in the name of jesus is mean whatever jesus said i am presenting to you exactly who, who am i who is what is my authority in the name of jesus when people they were casting the evil spirit from people in the name of Jesus, Jesus did not forbid them as long as they are doing good. Right. So, so in the name of Jesus, they were able to cast evil spirit from inside. If they try to do it in the name of someone else, they will not be successful. So the, in the name of, it's mean in the in the authority, in the power of. Very right. When I pray yes. to somebody and I say, I pray that the Lord heal you, which means by the power of the Lord mm -hmm. I yes. am not yes. claiming my own authority when they baptize they are not baptized in the name of Peter or Paul True. or any of the Apostle or a bishop or a, or, or a Pope or, or, a, or, a, or a priest it is in the name of Jesus so all those who claim authority they take their authority from one person that person is the Messiah he is our Lord all right yes. the same yes. as, the same as what happened in mark 9 13 39 you know uh, uh mm. you know like it uh, because at the end of the day jesus he said for no one who does miracles in my name can in the next moment say anything bad about me you know right so it's, yes it is it is uh, they are doing they are doing good and it's in my name at the end of the day it's my power not their power so they are announcing clearly that it's not me who is doing that it is in the name of Jesus same as the baptism because baptism simply you see mm -hmm. baptism first of all many people they have wrong understanding baptism mm -hmm. is necessarily to an, to announce yourself and to denounce the devil however we can show you an example of person going to heaven without baptism as an example the person who was next to Jesus oh, in the cross on the cross right, right. Yes. so he said yes. to him I said to you I promise you you will be with me today so but he was not baptized so baptism the baptism as as a as a as a spiritual uh, uh, change in your life, as a new start in your life, happen with that person even if there is no water, for the water is symbolic of a new life, and he blessed already by the one who blessed everyone. Yes, 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 yes. This is so true. And yeah. here, and here, you know, the Muslim they should ask themselves if. Uh, like this guy when he called me he's trying he's trying to prove to me that the Trinity is not exist but the, the, the more you listen to him the more he got himself you know deep and he he became a, tri a, tr a Trinity person yeah he sounded almost like a Christian at the end <laughs> yeah strange. sound like as a Christian so what is left I mean, you know what is left you know God is inside yeah. Jesus Jesus whoever saw Jesus saw God this is exactly yeah. what he was saying to me yet he want to say to me there is no Trinity from the beginning and he called me to, to pro prove to me the Trinity 
there's a contradiction in the Bible. It says in the name of Jesus, you know. Yes. You know, same time, same time. If, if we need to ask ourselves a few questions, uh, John the Baptist, which is his name mentioned in the Quran as a person, his name is Yahya. Yahya, yeah. In the, the Quran speak about the baptism. Do you know? I don't know if you know that uh, the Quran speak about baptism. Do you know that? No, I, I didn't know that. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome to Christian Prince School. <laughs> 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 All right. So, in in the in the Quran, uh, the Quran says the following. Let us see. Uh, let us find the verse. The Quran said, said when they asked Muhammad, "How come you are not doing baptism? How come you are not doing baptism?" But Muhammad, he have a problem. Muhammad is a person who live in the desert and he do not know how to do baptism He do not know even what to say. He's not a Christian. He's a false man yeah, So yeah. Muhammad he said that in Islam in chapter 2 verse 138 The best who do baptism is Allah <laughs> Is that correct okay. Muslims read, it, read read carefully with me guys does it say that in our religion is the baptism of Allah and who can do baptize better than Allah and it is he who whom we worship okay hold on <laughs> what baptism what do you mean baptism any Muslim can explain to me and tell me how Allah do baptism what do Allah says when he do baptism do he say in the name of Jesus <laughs> huh so Muslims they are wondering about Okay, they never baptism in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. But here you see the baptism in, of Allah. Which which surah is this? This is chapter two, verse number one thirty-eight. Two one thirty-eight. Yeah, yeah. Take a note. Take okay. a note and take beer. Take <laughs> beer. <laughs> <laughs> My friend, yeah. This this is this is why Muslims, you see, when they debate me, they hate debating me because they expect me to talk to them the same as the rest of the Christians. Of course, I'm yeah, not going yeah. to waste my time because I can talk about the Bible from now until next thousand year. He's not even listening. Yeah. You know, you will be reading for him verses from the Bible, but he's thinking about copy paste a question posted in the website, Muslim website. So supposedly he will keep you, you know, keep you busy trying to they will throw rocks at you, you know. And this is what yeah. I do. I do this. Uh, 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 let me let me share this with you this story. Once I visited a friend. Yeah. He he bought a new house, and he told me I I got the house earlier because they would charge me a lot for the landscape, etc. I told them I would do it myself. But look, you see, the yard mm -hmm. full of rocks. I said we can solve this problem, very easy. Mm -hmm. He said how? He said I need to hire some people to do it. It's a lot of rocks. He said there was just wait. You see the kids there? He said yeah. He said I said to him do you have a garbage can? You don't need it? He said yeah I have. He said okay bring it. So I put the garbage can in the other side of the road, which is no, there's no, no houses, nobody. It's a new area. And I said, hey, kids, who can hit that can with me? All of them, they came and throw, throw rocks from his yard at the other side. <laughs> in less, half, less than half hour, we have the yard clean from all the rocks. We can't even find one rock left, you know? And this is what I do with the Muslims. I make them throw rocks at the can, and then I go, I grab the can, I get all the rocks. They have nothing left. And then I use their rocks to destroy Islam. Yes, yes, yes. Sometimes uh, for 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 some Muslims, maybe you you um, you sound a little strong, but at least I know I know what why you're doing this because you you already said it before that whatever whatever they ask you about the Bible, when you answer them, they in the at the end they anyway say that they don't believe in the Bible. That this is, so that's really wasting your time. It's, so it's not only wasting your time, you are just repeating yourself. They will ask you the same question the second day. They will call the same person. He will yeah. call you the second day asking the same question. It's a stupid game. So why I want to waste my time with that? I just approve it to them from their books and what they will do. Like what happened to this guy? He was yeah. denied the Trinity. And then, hey, look what? I, I never saw this one before, to be honest with you. And then he <laughs> starts like blah, 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 blah. And then oops, look, oops, 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 oops. He be suddenly he became a Christian. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What we well, can say. 
I was uh, I wanted to call you a little early before he uh, was calling and uh, wanted to ask you the question about uh, what he was showing before uh, about Muhammad uh, and the satanic verses, right? Hmm. It 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 sounds like that. Uh, I don't know. Did he really say that he was demon possessed because he was demon possessed, or uh, was it only because they? got him busted uh, because he was worshipping these uh, uh, goddesses and then as an excuse he said that he was demon possessed no you see uh, in the Quran I don't know if you have my book uh, six and Allah did you have did you get the books the new books no just the first book I, I'm, okay. I'm already I'm reading the um, uh, deception of Allah all right see Muhammad has anyone who lie you need to create a thousand lie to cover the first lie mm -hmm. you know so yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, liars always they they start with one lie and then they end with many to cover the first lie because it's endless how uh, uh, you know uh, how, how we will cover this uh, this lie. So Muhammad he was a person who speak about his sexual power, all right? Oh, yeah. And mm -hmm. and uh, and he he talk about uh, uh, how powerful he is. Like even the hadith says that. Uh, 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 the prophet he used to have sex with all his wife yeah in one hour and and they were wondering how he can handle that <laughs> but then they ask his wives <clears throat> i don't believe that this is about muhammad bewitched but muhammad yeah, okay. in order to cover his ass as a liar he yeah. claimed that he was bewitched so so the prophet he was bewitched who is the one who said that muhammad himself he claimed that two yeah. angels came to him and the one of them he said to the other one what's wrong with this man as you see in, in the screen he said to him he is under the effect of magic but all of this all of this to, ex to explain if you if you notice the story coming with what coming with the connection of saying in the beginning the prophet continue for such and such a period of time imagine yes. himself having sexual intercourse but in fact he did not with all his wives not with one and here we need to ask ourselves why all the wives suffer from the same problem that Muhammad is not having sex with them because he was impotent because Muhammad he cannot have sex yeah. it's not about impotent impotent is a person maybe he cannot have kids right it can uh, he cannot have sex uh, okay that's what I so want. all right I don't know uh, English is not my first language but anyway so maybe he, uh, this is the correct not word. even mine <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so uh, Muhammad he cannot have sex but now he told them tons of his stories about he is able to have sex with all the women and then they asked the women and they find the prophet he was with you right you know he said no not touch me mm -hmm. the second woman he didn't touch me the third woman did not touch me so the story became like a joke everybody's saying muhammad never touches women so now how he can cover his ass so he created yeah. a story that he told his wife that two angels came to me and uh uh, uh and uh, they said to me that I am under the effect of magic and, and they took the magic but Aisha uh, each time she want to sleep with Muhammad Muhammad he accused her that she have a demon you see uh, but, Muhammad uh, but, accused but, her by the way by the way in Islam there's they don't believe in demon they believe even in, ge in a genie in ge which is shaitan. Yeah, yeah. demon does not exist so this is not this is a Christian uh, talk but uh, but Muhammad yeah, yeah. Muhammad each time Aisha she want to sleep with him Muhammad he accused her he said to her did you say Satan came to you let me see there's, there's a Muslim is calling let me take him please hold on okay hello hello yeah this is the guy uh, uh, this is this is the guy guys who, who posted uh, that Jesus was tempted <laughs> he's calling <laughs> answer answer I'm calling you back Do you think he will answer? He will not. He's a coward. He is a coward. He's texting me in Skype, but he will not answer. When Aisha, let us see. Here we go. Look at this hadith here. Aisha first. 
agree you will debate on a Christian topic call me call me yeah I will give you a question you, you, you ask me you see guys this guy is terrified he said first please agree that you will talk about the Christian topic <laughs> <laughs> hey my friend how are you? Uh, I'm alright thank you yeah, I'm fine do you see with me this hadith it says that when Aisha she came to the prophet she wouldn't have sex with him the prophet he said to her look like your shaitan he came to you why Muhammad he said that what do you think uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just I'm back again with my question because I can't sleep tonight. I'm I, not satisfied. You, I don't. I don't I care was... if you sleep tonight or not. I answer you, my friend. I answered you. You don't want to take my I... answer. It's your, it's your topic. It's your, it's your problem. I answered you. I told you, and the person who called he explained more. So you don't want to listen. It's up to you. I, I do not. I, I do not understand. Can you make it clear for me? My friend, because when, when I, I say to my, you in the name Bible, of the king, in the name of the king, what does that mean? In the name of the king, the king is a title. Maybe the king, the name is David okay. or John. Well, John well, is the my name friend, David, my friend. In the name, okay, listen, listen. Yeshua, Yeshua, Yeshua is a name and a title in the same time. Yeshu or Messiah is the savior who saved you. No, he is the salvation. Yeah, no. What? No, the Messiah, which is mean the Christ. The Christ is the anointed one, which is not a name, is a title. Because also the prophet we used to call the anointed one as well. Now the father is what, not a what, name. What, anno not what a name. anointed he, man? What what also, anointed one? He is anointed by who? Who is, he is anointed by who? They were anointed by God. But when you read in the Bible, they what say, does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that what mean? What does that mean that he is anointed by God? Killer, not name, but a name. So what is the what, name? What is but that? What is that, that, my friend? Let us not to talk to you. Say nothing. What is the meaning of that? What does that mean? The meaning of what? Of of the of the anointed one. The, no, the name of Yeshua. Yeshua, the name of Jesus. You say when you say Jesus, you say the Savior, Jesus, the God, the Savior. The Yeshua, Yeshua, my friend. Yeshua, Yeshua as a word mean God, the Savior. So the second you say is the same as the same the mm -hmm. second you say in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. which is Yeshua, you just say it in the name of God the Savior. The second Muslim they name in the in the Quran, they name him Jesus, they just admitted that he is the Savior. Then the second you name Yeshua, you admitted that he is the Savior, his God. So this is what the name of the Messiah means. Not not the word Messiah now, I'm talking about just the word Yeshua. So Yeshua in the name of Jesus in the name of the Savior which means his name will save you So we go and do baptism in his name by his authority Everything coming from him is going to save you. No one else can save you. So in the name of the Savior I the do problem, this. I, 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 We do all things in the name of, of Jesus why you do not baptize people in the name of Jesus Christ? That is my question. Because I my do friend, not I want to understand. My, my that. friend, J Jesus Christ, 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 Christ is additional. In now, hold on. In He's not a second person. Oh, don't be Jesus. stupid. Shh, don't be stupid. Christ is not a second person, not a third person, is the same person. So who cares if I say Jesus or I say Jesus the Christ? How many times I spoke to you today? I just said Jesus. Did I you say many times? Does it mean I am speaking about? Does it mean? Does it mean I am insulting? Does it mean I am insulting? Does it? Does it mean I am insulting Jesus? No. Does it mean I am taking off something from him? No. Because the name Yeshua itself is more than enough to describe who is Jesus, for He is God, the Savior Himself. So Jesus the Christ is the one who is going to save us the one we are waiting for the christ is the title of the person the muslim that the jews they are waiting for to come and save them they are expecting him to be the king who will save them from the roman he will do he will he will, he will establish the kingdom of david as the, as the, as they, they believe so the christ was more than just a name it is a dream of the jews of somebody he's going to come his name is the christ he is going to save them he will establish a new life for them. He will establish a new kingdom. He will bring them victory. He will free them from, from slavery. He will free them from the Roman. They have their own understanding of the coming Christ. So when I say in the name of Jesus, I just said it all. 
But but sir, and, and did the you Bible, ask your Bible says you cannot add, you cannot remove. Are you not adding? Because my friend, Paul, your Paul, my God, say, if, my God does not have a name. We are not adding. We are not taking off. My God does not have a name. When they asked Jesus, He said, "I am." Go go go. Bible say, go. In the name of Jesus. Just just just. You know, you are talking. I'm talking. We cannot listen to each other. Jesus, Jesus. When we say Jesus the Christ, the Christ is a description of who is Jesus. But Jesus is the name of the person, Yeshua. So we call him by his name. He was given that name. Everybody know him by that name. And I speak to you in the name of Yeshua. And Yeshua is the Christ, the one you are waiting for. So we are not taking things off. It's not his last name. And this is not even a name. There's no single word in the Bible is a name. Even the word Adam is not a name. Even the word Abraham is not a name. Even the word Moses is not a name. Even the word Gabriel is not a name. Even the word Israel is not a name. Those are a sentence have a meaning. It is not a name. If you don't want to listen, this is your business. Don't waste my time. When when uh, when Moses asked God, I will tell my people about you, what I will tell them, what's your name? He said, I am who I am. I am, that's it. And then you go in the whole Bible, you will see that there's no names in the Bible, including even men in name. As an example, if you go in the book of Genesis, there's a video actually. Let me see if I can show it to you. Hold on. Uh, so you can learn something. If you go in the in the book of Genesis, chapter number five, but I will <clears throat> I will play it for you in in YouTube so you can get the idea better. Let me find the video. Give me a second, please. <clears throat> just to show you that when people they think the bible is normal book they have they have a lot of ignorance let's see Here we go. Listen carefully. There's another place that God appears to have laid out his plan in advance. And that's in some subtleties, and one of which I'd like to share with you in Genesis chapter 5, a genealogy. The genealogy in Genesis chapter 5 goes from Adam, the first man, down through Noah. And in Genesis chapter 5, if you wade through that, I encourage you to make a list of the names. Adam gives, uh, gave birth to Seth, Seth Enosh. Enosh, Kenan, Kenan, Mahalal, Mahalal, Jared, Jared, Enoch, Enoch, Methuselah, Methuselah, Lamech, and Lamech was the father of Noah. Let's take these names, 10 names. But see, the problem is we need to know what the names mean. And if you have a study Bible or a source, a, a lexicon, what have you, you know that the name Adam means man. As you go through your Bible, when these names are typically first introduced, most of your marginal footnotes will tell you what the name means. Adam means man. Seth means appointed. Enosh means mortal. Kenan means sorrow. Mahalel means the blessed God. Jared means shall come down. Enoch means teaching. Methuselah means his death shall bring. 
Lamech means the despairing. And the word Noah means rest or comfort. Now, let's read that genealogy as a sentence. Man is appointed mortal sorrow. The blessed God shall come down teaching that his death shall bring the despairing comfort. That wild? Okay. So as you see, this is not those are not There's names. Did you see it? It's not a name. All what you think in the Bible, it's a name, it turned to be a message. The word Jesus is not a name. It's a description for who he is. The word Messiah is not a name. It's a description for who he is. The word Jehovah, the word uh, uh, Yahweh, the word uh, Elohim, those are speaking about God, the word God, Elohim, El, Emmanuel. It's not a name. We are not the same as Muslims. Our book is very deep book. And the first verses in the Bible confirming the message of, or let's say the mission of the Messiah. Those are, you know, how in the world Adam, he thought of naming those names. It doesn't make sense. Imagine you call your son his death. That's weird. Why anyone want to call his son shall come down? <laughs> you know what I mean? Why in the world anyone, any man in this earth, he want to call his son such a name, have such a meaning, if it's a name, shall come down? What does that mean? It doesn't make any sense. But if you put all the names together, you come to a message. So even what you think they are names and they mean nothing for you because you don't speak the language, they turn to be not names. They turn to be something else. It's a delivered message, message by God, by those names. His death, I mean, how in the world you will call your son his death? I mean, you could not find a better name to your son. You know what I mean? So the Muslims are very naive people. They, they knew very little about their religion and they know nothing about our religion. Actually, they don't know nothing about their religion too. And yet they want to argue and want to debate with us about things they do not know. There's a million reasons for us to believe in the Messiah to be God. You, you one, just call me. You confirm to me that Jesus is not sinner. You confirm to me that Jesus is holy. You confirm to me that God is inside Jesus. You confirm to me what when Jesus speak, God is speak. You confirm to me that He was He was a sacrifice for He is holy. That I mean, that isn't it that enough for you to leave Islam and to accept Jesus? Can you wonder why the Christian they believe in Jesus as God? And then the Quran says to us that Jesus he can resurrect people from death. Okay, why is that? Why in the Quran Muhammad could not do anything? And even the Quran, do you know what the Quran says, guys? Just to show you that the author of the Quran is a stupid. You see, there's one thing should not be accepted about God, at least he should not be stupid. In the Quran, it says the following. If a person he can create a fly, then you can worship him. Are you going to worship someone who cannot create a fly? Okay. So if he can, at least, why he mentioned fly? He mentioned fly because this is so small. Because the fly is so small. I mean, at least create a fly. What kind of god you are? You can't create a fly. How in the world, you Muslims, you believe is still in Islam after this? Because if you are saying to me, the reason to believe in someone to be God is to create a fly, well, Jesus created a bird from the mud. And that is confirmed in the Quran. Who is the one we should worship based on this verse? Oh man, here is parable. Set forth, listen to it. 
those whom those on whom beside Allah you ye call cannot create even a fly if they meet all together all those who you worship them they cannot create a fly but in the same time it says that Jesus he can create a flying bird right now according to Islam there's a flying bird in the sky they are made created by Jesus are you guys getting the point so the Quran put a condition in order to believe in someone to be God at least at least can't he create a fly Could Jesus not only create a fly, he created a human being. Because when you say that Jesus here is resurrect people from death, it's mean he is a creator too. What? So the Quran come from he created birds and he breathed into the mud. Imagine he said, I and I breathe into it, which means from the breath of Jesus, life is given. Who is this Jesus who can do that? And how he can do that. The Muslim, they say to you, by the leave of Allah, prove it. Allah Himself, He cannot do any of what He's claimed. I can claim that every miracle Jesus did, it was by my leave. Anyone can claim that. Right? Very simple. Can you prove it? The Quran full of verses where people they make fun of Muhammad and say to him, How come your God cannot do any miracle? What kind of God you have? The God who have no miracle. This is what the Quran says. As simple as that. To the point, even the Arab they made fun of Muhammad and his Quran. They did not find the Quran to be very amazing excuse me as as the muslim they claim we can show you tons of verses in the quran making fun of muhammad and his book by the arab hello hello yes my friend how are you how are you You're right I'm okay. Oh, that's good. That's good to hear. Um, well, I got, w got one or two questions. Oh. But uh, in relation to that guy, when he said that um, basically they baptize in the name of Jesus, mm. what um, he has misunderstood is that he's not talking that when they baptize the guy, they say, we baptize you in the name of Jesus. So it is, for example, when I go to court, um, I, I can take an oath on the, what they call, uh, on the Bible, mm. or you can take co uh, no, an oath, which is like, um, is not the Bible. Mm. So if you're an atheist, you can take an oath, which is not in the Bible. Mm. So if I say to you, I went to court and I had to swear in the Bible, it doesn't mean that I swore at the Bible. It just means that I, I had, when I, if I say to you, I had to swear in the Bible, if you know what it happens, you would know what it means. For example, you know that it means that I swear that I'm telling the truth, but that nothing but the truth. Yeah. But when they said that um, we baptize in the name of Jesus, they were, you know, they were simply explaining that in whose name they, uh, in authority of Jesus, they baptized him, meaning they baptize in the name of the Son, and you know, the Father and the Holy Spirit. You know, so the the explanation it doesn't say that they went to the guy. And the guy wanted to be baptized, and they said to him, "We baptize you in the name of Jesus." They simply were saying that people were baptized in the name of Jesus, uh, which would mean that they were baptized in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. It's just in the authority of Jesus because they were spreading the message of Jesus. So that was the, you know, yeah, that's the difference. Are, we are coming to you in, in uh, what baptism? Because you see, baptism is not only something was practiced by by. Uh, uh, by the Christians, there is other religions. They do baptism too. They have different, uh, let us say, understanding for baptism. So, mm. uh, uh, when you baptize, you need to say in the name of who, because this is mean you belong to this belief now. So, in the name of Jesus, to explain, 
you are following who before even before Jesus John the Baptist that's why he's called John the Baptist right he used to yeah. do baptism so now before people they used to be baptism but not in the name of Jesus you know John the Baptist he did not say in the name of Jesus but but then when 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 Jesus got baptism and the, and the and the spirit of God appear that is the change of the baptism where it became announced that this is the one you are waiting for this is your salvation this is the messiah exactly i'm, I'm not sure why that guy was being confused about it i really no, no, i'm sure he, you know, he got it but he you know he's just uh, trying to be uh, if he's sorry he for himself me. in the beginning he called me to prove to okay. me that trinity is not is not right and then he found himself in trouble he said things you know yeah because i mean there is no christians that says that you must baptize only in the name of jesus the reason why we use the name of jesus because jesus said i am the the way the truth and the life and no 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 one can come to the father except for me so in a sense we use the name of jesus you know the jesus is the one that uh connects us to god in a sense you know you can only know god through jesus so with jesus is god but through the message of jesus and belief in jesus that's what it means uh in talking of baptism i wanted to ask you know you showed that verse hmm. um does that does it actually use the word because you know how muslims are if you say this verse talks of a baptism they will say oh brother you don't understand in arabic it don't mean this and they're gonna twist some words and because i don't speak arabic so i want to know does does he actually talk? Does he actually say baptism? Yes, it is. There was, but, you know, there, but, there was another guy who posted another translation, I think, saying that he ordains a religion or something. Your what? Ordains or religion. So he had a completely different translation. No, no. It's you see, sabra to Allah, sabra. You see, the word sabra is coming from the old Aramaic, where people they, when they they put someone in the water. And they take him, take him, whatever you put in the water, even the clothes. If you put it in the water, and usually it happened, it's something you do to color somebody with uh, or, or clothes. So it, means, it means a dip on the water, because that's what baptism yeah, actually yes, means. Dip in, in the green. water, but to a dip. yeah, and color you. The word sabara is to color okay. you, which means you go inside the water in a in a in a situation. You came out in different situation. This is what sabara means. So okay. here, speaking about, uh, 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 it cannot be about like in. Uh, in English, what do you say when you color uh, clothing? Die. Or, or die. When you die, you, clothes, cannot, you yeah. cannot say that because here it's about using water to to to, to dip someone in, and then mm. after he come out, he will be a different person. Yeah, I mean, even he if will have some, he will have even a different if color. Clothes in water, he will kind of give his own color as well. Yeah, if we go, even if we go, uh, we can go right now to Ibn Kathir. Let's see what Ibn Kathir is saying. However, the the I guess the one is. The one is calling. I know, call I know me, Muslim. Call me after we finish the call. I mean, why everybody is calling right now? Hold. Want me to finish? No, no, no. I mean, seconds. Suddenly, like everybody is calling. Don't they are? They hear us. We are uh, talking. So sorry, I, don't, I don't want. I don't want to. Sorry, no, no, I don't want to bother. No. I but just. Here, uh, you see, I, I'm, I'm not even using my my translation. Okay, uh, this is Yusuf Ali. It says uh, baptism, right? If we change the translation, you might find different word. But be, but because the Muslim translation is very funny everyone he try and i think all of them they are copying from yusuf ali but they are using the here we go this is shakir he's using the word baptism again you see it mm -hmm. this is Yusuf. so yusuf ali shakir saying baptism let us see Bictal. there was one who said ordained or something i think because obviously yeah. he's trying to hide that because it sounds what 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 meaning would this verse have to muslims and at the same time you know the the muslims they say you know in, in many interpretations hey, that the, the baptism the of color, Allah, color from Allah. <laughs> yeah, no, when they say they say when you say shahada Allah baptized you in heaven okay but that still doesn't change anything I mean why 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 Allah do baptism people what does that mean I, the reason why I'm asking is I just wanted to see basically now I understand that it means to dip because baptism in actual Greek as far as I know it means dip in the water that's what the word baptism yes, means yes. Uh, so I just wanted to know because as I've, you know you when you debate Muslims as soon as they find out you don't speak Arabic and when you catch them out and you get them busted they're like oh you you don't speak Arabic and then they start this you know talking in Arabic as if they're shakes you know if it makes them special and yeah. obviously 
they don't even speak Arabic themselves. But because if you don't know Arabic, they could be speaking Chinese and you're like, okay, this guy is, knows what he's talking about. So you can't really respond. So I just wanted to check if that's what he actually means. So uh, that's the clarification. Um, now, I don't know if you have too much time, but I just wanted to ask, you know, when it comes to divorce, um, uh, Quran only talks you can divorce if, if you call somebody cheating, if you, need, if you have four witnesses, right? Yeah. Because um, I was listening to, um, to a video from a Muslim, basically. He was trying to give advice because a guy said he caught his wife cheating. Okay. And I kind of find it funny because he was like, uh, well, you need to have four witnesses. That's what the Quran says. Sure. And if it was just you who saw her, then uh, basically, you know. And, and also he said that the Quran said that if you uh, make a false claim, which means if you don't have four witnesses, you could be lashed, I think, for 80 times right, or something. Right, the, the event, yeah, okay. Yeah, so in a sense, he was trying to say that basically that verse in the Quran is, can be a bit useless in today's time. But he said there is, um, I don't know what the word of it is, where you go, both of you go to the Sharia court and you both of you swear. And then if, if uh, both of you swear that I am telling the truth, then I think you both separate. Uh, now, that, that, this would definitely be from... You mean the Mukhala? Eh? You swear about what? Yes. Basically, you have to swear that you didn't cheat and you swear that you caught her cheating. And then if both of you swear, then... Then you separate. But this is this is just a, you know this, there's no need for a Muslim to do that. It just you can you can divorce your wife in a second. Just say divorce. That's it. Then well, there's no need for this. Because technically, what I'm trying to say is this is all in hadith. So the yeah. actual but around. Yeah, but in the in Islam, a, a man he can if if the if the if the purpose of separation and the divorce, a Muslim he do not need to go to court. He just send a text message even by text phone. What court? What for? The, the court is if you have an accusation you want to prove it to to get something as an example uh, if you can prove that she is a cheat on you so she will not get her money the wages you know you yeah. have to pay her so if you prove, what about if the woman cheats if sorry if the woman catches the man cheating what is the law on that or is, is it always the same well supposedly for both of them is the same but Muhammad he spoke about uh, 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 when you see uh, uh, adultery you have to see the penis of the man going in and out the same as the pen going as the inkwell and we can find that in the hadith so it doesn't matter really if it's a male or a female you have to prove it and you have to have four witnesses as we saw in this verse here in chapter 4 in the Quran verse number so, uh, if yeah? you think if you think your wife is cheating you have to get a high definition camera with a slow motion yeah so if we, uh, I don't want to I don't want to speak a bad language sure. But the, Sorry, imagine, yeah, sorry. imagine if somebody having sex, but he is uh, covering himself. I mean, what if a woman she is taking off her panty, but she is wearing a long skirt, and they are doing it? You know, you cannot see what's happening inside. So, uh, w w and then we have ten witnesses. Still, you have no witnesses because you exactly. have you have to, exactly. you have to see the the penis of the man going in and out. The four of them they have to see it, not one. You know, so if if uh, uh, here we go, read with me carefully. So the, 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 the whole voice is ridiculous, then basically. Yeah, there's no, you know, it's impossible actually to prove adultery in Islam because how you can get four witnesses, and by the, let's just say a guy he came to his house and he found his wife sleeping with somebody. By the uh, you scream, you bring people. By the time people they come, they if, if they just separate themselves, even if they are naked, there's no proof of the adultery. But this is I just want to ask one quick clarification. The reason I'm asking, I want to get clarification. Um, can you you the triple uh, talat or whatever you call it? That's 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 not in Quran. That's in Hadith. So if you were to follow Quran only, so let's say you get a Muslim who says I'm a Quranist, hmm. and you ask him the question that if he catches his wife cheating, how can he divorce her? Technically, he can't unless he has four witnesses, right? No, he do not need the witnesses for divorce. Even in Quran, even if you follow Quran only. You are talking about divorce, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, even if you follow Quran only, not Hadith or yeah, there's no there's no witnesses for divorce, no, no need because uh, it, if, it, if you catch them cheating, if you catch them cheating, oh, if you catch her cheating, you have to get the, the the witnesses anyway. So if you if you are one of those people who are Quran only, they technically can catch the wife cheating, but they can't do much. 
Well, no, the Quran, need... the Quran only, or oh, hadith only doesn't matter because the Quran says still you have to have four witnesses for the adultery. And those four witnesses, the Quran does not say how the details is. The hadith says that, as you see here with me, it says uh, that there's a Jewish man, etc., and they have fornication. And they uh, they came to Muhammad and then say Muhammad he told them uh, how do you think about the matter of those two persons bear witness to the effect that they have seen has, uh, uh, his sexual organ and his female organ penetrated like uh, you know like the the ink stick when enclosed in its case so Muhammad he he came with this idea that if you see the man having uh, uh uh having you know if you see the male member going in and out that is adultery if you don't see that then there is no there's no adultery it's called al the quran if you remember the story of a guy his name is nabhanu tamar and nabhanu tamar uh, he came to muhammad he said i did with the women everything the man he does except one thing which is intercourse <laughs> Muhammad he said to him, Don't worry, this is a lemon. You know, this is a lemon. If we go in the Quran, we will find how Muhammad he speak about this as a small sin. So it's a small fault. Don't worry. Chapter 53, verse number 30. It's, it's okay, you only break a nail. That's it. Yeah, it's like you know, the man he have even even the interpretation said that she have a husband and he is doing jihad. Like he is doing Al Qaeda now, doing jihad, mm -hmm. but yet she go inside the store. This Muslim man, his name is Nabhan, who is a companion of the Prophet. He touch her, he kiss her, he play with her everywhere, including you know, but he did not have intercourse. Muhammad he said to him, "Don't worry, this is a small fault." You see, even the Muslim they translate it as fault. It's not even a sin. <laughs> the great sin for Allah it's a great sin if you do adultery but Muhammad is the one who taught them to do fornication to rape women so uh, uh, Muslim they claim that they don't practice fornication but the fact all of Islam is fornication there's no remarriage yeah okay all right now I just wanted to clarify it really because I was listening to that and um it was quite interesting so I wanted to clarify it so yeah, and I wanted to clarify the baptism bit. Like I said, if I ever have a debate with a Muslim, you know, if I'm going to use it, I want to know what it actually means in Arabic in case they use the, oh, you don't speak Arabic, you know? Well, Because I know some translation, they will use uh, different words and stuff like they that. Will, so. They will try their best to get away from it, you know? Yeah. yeah. yeah maybe I need to let my beard grow and act like I'm an Arabic mullah, but yeah. refuse to speak yeah. Arabic. Let me answer this person. Bro. He called me. Okay. All right, one. bro. Hello. Which place? Yes. How are you? I'm fine, my friend. How are you doing? Sorry, you called me many times, but as you see, the line is busy. How I can? I know. I know. Uh, thank you for the good work, man. You know, uh, I think uh, you won the first battle. You gotta win the second battle. The second battle is this guy is ready to become a Christian. You have to call him back and talk to him. He's ready. I'm, I'm telling you. Don't miss the opportunity. You did a good job already. Don't finish it. My, my call him back. My, my call friend, him back. My, my friend, give him some time to relax. I think he, I think he's ready. He 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 said I want the light. He said you say two, three, three times. I want I want to see light. I want to see light. He saw the light already, like you said. I think he's ready. Just give me just give him five minutes, please. All give right. him five minutes. I will just do please. it for you. No problem. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Did you hear what, uh, what I don't know what his name was? Let me go because he was really annoying me in the text. So I think I blocked his messages. See how nice the Christians, how nice to you they are. They want to save you. Um, I'm trying to find. Okay, let me try to find him now. Because he keep calling, keep calling, so I had to block him. Mm. Try 
trying to find his name. Here we go. All right. whom you're trying to reach is currently unavailable all right anyway if you hear me you can call i think he's online anyway you know for 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 me i do my duty to share with you the answer which will help you uh, to make a decision and i showed you what your book is saying and you came to me with an answer and the answer obviously doesn't sound like a muslim answer at all hello Hello, sir. Yes. Did you relax? Uh, thank now? you for taking my. Did you relax? Yes, yes. Sir. All right. Yes, yes, so, I did. Did you receive did. my answer for you? Did I need to repeat it again and again? Are we going to waste our time? Keep repeating the same answer, same question, or what? What do you think? No, we won't. Won't waste our time. Uh, I, I was, I was following you. Um, I just want to understand because I, I tried to read up a bit the Bible that make some sense because I'm. Mean, I will just say that clearly. Uh, then I realized, like, all is turning around Jesus. So if Jesus is important, and I want to do things right, and that's why I bring up the baptism question. And but, I but follow you know, your presentation you, you, you about... Need to remember. Let, 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 me, let me tell you something. You need to remember something very important. I told you from the beginning. I, if I speak to somebody who somebody yeah. is, is a Hindu, I will not explain to him a verse in his book mm -hmm. as I understood it. Because he is the believer, not me. Correct? So mm. I debate people about their belief, not about what I think. Are you getting my point? Uh, no, if, I, I get if, your if point. You wanna, sir, if you want to also... debate somebody, uh, if, you, uh, if, you, if you want to speak to somebody about his religion, whoever he is, a Christian, uh, mm -hmm. even an atheist, you need to talk to him about what he mm. believes, not what you think. So what you are doing, you you are trying to say to me what you think, and I give you the answer about what I believe, but still you are you are insisted that I did not answer you. So the verse in the Bible is so no, clear I'm not. that everything is about in the name of God, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, the word Yeshua, mean God the Savior. As simple okay. as that. So in the name of the God the Savior, there's people who before Jesus used to do baptism, as an example, joined the Baptist. So people they want to know yes. who are those people who they are doing baptism. There's Sabian they do baptism too. Who are those people who mm -hmm. do baptism? Or maybe they are Sabian. Like now in Christianity, we have mm -hmm. they have people who claim to be Christian, as an example, Jehovah's Witnesses. But if you ask any Christian, yeah. he will tell you right away that Jehovah's Witness is not a Christian. But if you if you speak to our Jehovah's Witnesses, he said to you, This is the Bible. So they use the same word. For the same name, mm. for the same book we carry, but they change a little bit of the translation, correct? So yeah. it's not enough to say, I want to do baptism. It's not enough to say, I want to do even in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Jesus was speaking, and this is why he said that, to make it clear, they are going in their mission in the name of who? But when they go, still they are the apostle of Jesus. So people they know them by the name yeah. of Jesus, not by the name of anyone else. You see, if you if you uh, I am mm -hmm. I, my name is a Christian prince. Why I'm calling Christian called a Christian by the, by his name? But does that mean if for me I am called a Christian because I do not believe in the Father, the Son, or the Spirit? No. Actually, I am a Christian because I mm -hmm. believe in the three as one. So being a Christian, which is a name coming from the name of Christ, did not change the fact that I believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So you need to understand what we as a Christian, we believe, and don't make your own conclusion. Because first, this is not fair. When I spoke to you about Islam as an example, I did not say I am the one who claiming that Jesus is a three in one. I showed you a verse from the Quran. Mm. Correct? So I use your own belief right. to answer your belief. 
I did not use my belief mm. because if I use my belief at the end of the day you will say to me I don't believe in it anyway you are a Christian I don't believe in your Bible this is why usually I don't really waste my time with Muslims speaking about the Bible because first of all in order to make somebody listen to you about what the Bible teach he have first to respect the book he don't respect the book so what I do and I'm saying it clearly in front, in front of everybody. I show them that their book is a stupid book, and I'm not trying to insult. And then he will listen. Uh, uh, be, before that stage, a Muslim he believe that the Bible is a corrupt book. It's a false book. It's a stupid. It's full of lies. Blah 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 blah. So it doesn't matter what you say to him. He is not even listening. And if you remember when you call me, I said to you, do you, do you remember? I said to you, are you trying mm -hmm. to say to me that the book of Allah is corrupt? Do you remember? Yes, I do. Okay. I do. I do Did you ask yourself why I said that? Why I said that? What What is the point of saying such a thing? Because when a Muslim, he tried to prove to me that the Bible is corrupt and he forgot that this book supposedly is sent by Allah. So how I can believe in such a God? I mean, the second you say that this book full of contradiction, you are saying to me that the book we have in our hand is a book of lies correct do you agree uh, i wasn't saying that no no i mean i, I mean that way it doesn't course. matter doesn't matter but, I, but it's you, mean that it's mean that it's mean when you say contradiction my friend when you say contradiction you meant that it's not a true book cannot be true because god will not contradict himself correct and I say, okay, so so how now? I let, wanted you like. Let us go here. Let us go. Here. Uh, uh, let us go here. How Google. Allah? How Allah? He sent yes. the angel. How Allah? He sent the angel. And then Allah, He don't protect the angel. What do you think? What is your explanation for this? Why Allah? He sent the book, but He don't care for His book because at the end of the day, the book belongs to the author. You see, I have like nine books in Amazon for sale. I am the author of those books, and it's my duty to protect them, not you. And if somebody stole my books, I will take yes. them to court because I am the owner, I am the author. So Allah is the author of the Torah. Yes. Allah is the author of the Injil. So what is your explanation as you understand? Why Allah don't protect the Torah and the Injil if those are his books? What do you think? To be honest, I do not know. I won't die to you, I do not know. But, you, but, 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 my, you, but, don't, you think, but don't you think that this is, this is proof well, that Allah is false, false God? Because if that, that, it, this is something simple, I mean, protect, well, protecting a book is something very simple. I mean, you, you see, the God who created the whole universe, the God who made the galaxies, the God who uh, mm. created the, 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 the amazing things around us, he cannot protect a book, have a few hundred pages? That's impossible. You know, it's, not, it's hard to believe. He could not even save one true copy. Everything is gone. So what kind of God, this God you call him Allah, he cannot do, protect his book? What do you think? So is what I'm saying, sir. Uh, I, I get your point because I'm trying to think this straight. I get your point and understand. I, 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 I got what you were saying as well. But you have to understand also, everyone is not the same. I'm here, I'm representing myself, and I want to get understanding. So it's clear. That's why I ask you first the question to try to just to, to, to get the light and I no problem, no problem. And you see the this kind of everything the, uh, is going uh, around you. I, I, I don't know what is, I don't know what's your name, but let me ask you if I say to you I trust you, and then later I find that yes. I, I find that I you are not I'm not I'm not saying you are not trustworthy, but I'm saying if I if I trusted you in something, let's say I gave mm. you uh, I gave you the key of my house and then I came back I found that your my house mm. is stripped out from everything everything is gone so when I did to trust you did I make a mistake mm. do you think I made a mistake by trusting a person who will steal all my furniture on all of my house do you think it's a mistake right it's a mistake it's a wrong trust yes it's okay. a mistake. if you go in the Quran yeah. as an example uh, if you go in the Quran chapter 9 verse number 31 I don't know if you have the Quran in front of you the Quran says that Allah, no, he, Allah he entrusted mm. he is he entrusted the Jews to protect the book all right mm. but they corrupt the book yes. okay how Allah he entrusted the Jews to protect the book and then 
the 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 Jews they uh, 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 you know they uh, they did that. I mean, when Allah He did, we agree me and you that when 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 Allah He says, I trusted you, it's mean Allah He don't make mistake. He trusted them. I trust you. You see, in the Bible, P uh, Jesus He said to Peter, You will deny me. So mm. Jesus He knew who's Peter. He knew He's going to deny him. So He did not give him a blind trust. Still, he knew that Peter is at mm. the end of the day is a human being. He might do wrong. So, how Allah, mm. he you know he say such a thing that I trusted you in protecting the Torah. How Allah can make mm. such a mistake? Because remember that the topic is we are trying to talk about how those books are corrupted. Allah trusted the Jews. Hello? Yeah. Allah mm -hmm. trusted the Jews. And the Jews, obviously, they are not trustworthy. How Allah He makes such a mistake and He is God. <clears throat> okay, well, I'm going to answer your question, sir. Mm. Uh it's the same also when we go in the Bible, God repent. In Genesis, God repent for creating man. Can you say also God uh made a mistake? If God no. a mistake, that means not God. Oh, my friend, my friend. So, God, because God, no, God no, no, no. You see, God. you see, you are, you are again. You are trying to read and the translation of the Bible. It, it says the word repent. The word repent here is not about God. He felt sorry for himself for creating Adam. God, he feels sorry for Adam for what he did. So, in order to understand what the Bible is saying. Read the verses and you will see that God, he did not we repent to what? Is that he did commit sin? Who is the one who commits sin? The word repent is you, you, ask for forgiveness for committing sin. But God did not commit sin. Who is the one who commits sin in the story in the Bible? He's man. He's man. He's Adam. Who? Adam. Okay. So the repent here have nothing yes. to do. You are reading a translation presenting that God, he felt sorry for Adam who committed sin. He created him for something. And Adam turned to be something else. You see, we believe in the free will. So God, He created Adam and Eve not to commit sin. The same as He created, He created the, the devil Himself. He created him as an angel. But the, the devil, who was an angel, he chose to be disobedient and he chose to be against God. So God is not repenting here in the meaning you understand it. The same as you know, uh, when we say the word the pray, you see, when I say that I pray. Uh, what to pray mean? Pray, I, I ask God for doing something. But if you go in the Bible, you will find that the word pray have many meaning. It's not necessarily praying to God. The same time, when you see the Bible says that the earth committed adultery. The earth committed adultery. Mm. But we know that the earth never committed adultery. Adultery is adultery. How the earth committed adultery? Mm. Simply is a, is a metaphorical of how the earth became the land of sin. To the point the mm. earth became disgusting. So, in order to understand the Bible, yeah. you have to understand the metaphorical meaning. This is a book full of metaphorical. It's not about God's bowing down and asking for forgiveness to who? He is the one who created Adam and he knew the future of Adam. But he did not create Adam to be what he mm. is going to be. He created him to be something. I created a man who will live, enjoy my heaven. And I gave him a warning if you do this and mm. that, if you do this and that, you will be cast of heaven. So I gave him the guidance of what he should do, what he should not do. He chose to do the wrong. This is what mm. he rep repent here present mm. that God felt sorry for Adam for how he ended to be. But Adam, even though he commits sin, as you see, God, he loved mankind. He created them because he loved them, not because he hated them. So still yet, he want to save them and he sent them his messengers one after one. And then he sent yourself, you, you agreed with me, that God himself, he came to earth to save the mankind, including starting from Adam until the last one. But as long as you mentioned this story here, yeah. you know, I want to show you something. In, in the Quran, uh, as long as you mentioned the word repent, uh, yeah. the Quran says that Adam, he repent to Allah. You see, the Bible says, as you say that God he repent right and you were a question about that but if you go in the Quran 
you will find that the, the Quran says uh, that Adam he received words from his God and he repented okay but after he repent repent Allah he agree to forgive him chapter 2 verse number 37 so Adam he received words from his God which means words of mercy and he accepted accepted the repentance of Adam but then how Allah he kicked Adam out of heaven look how in the Bible God himself for feeling sorry for Adam how he ended and the God of Islam mm. Adam he repent but yet still he kick him out look Adam receive from his word uh, uh, revelation which mean he accepted his repentance the Muslim translation is kind of funny every translating you is translation you you will find different different meaning but it says in Arabic mm. that he tab tab which mean he repent so how Allah he accept the repent of Adam and yet he kick him out of heaven right after he accept his repent do you know it says mm. after Allah he accept the repent of Adam Allah he said to him get down all from here how you explain that to us what do you think? If I repent, if I repent to God and God accept my repentance, mm. so why he accept him if he will mm. kick him out anyway? Or, or I said, you know, I'm trying to say, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I'm here representing myself. And I no, find no, out I'm that I'm talking to you, my friend. In the Quran, I'm, I'm talking I'm to, trying you to, explain to you as a, mercy, some, as a person by yourself. I'm not talking about you as a group. So what do you think? I'm talking to you as yes, a person. What do you think about this? What do you think about this? He I accept, get, I, he accept his point. repentance. So that, I, does it make sense that God, he, after you repent to him, still he kick you out of he from heaven? Is that justice? No, it doesn't make it doesn't make sense. That's why I'm saying I accept that there is some inconsistency in the Quran. I accept that. That's why hmm. I'm asking you my question because I've read, I follow you like for some times now. That's why I'm asking question now because I want to, to find out because I don't want to, to get into something which is the same way maybe I'm trying to yeah. get out. Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me give you an advice. There is a, there's a brother of mine. His name okay. is, is uh, Sam Shamoon. Did you, did you hear of him? No, no. Sam Shamoon, you can search his... Uh, uh, search. Uh, I will try to find you his channel in YouTube. You can join his, his uh, yeah. podcast. This guy, he loves to talk about the Bible 24 hours, 7 days a week. All right? For yeah. me, for me, and to yeah. be honest with you, I focus in the Quran because what I can do in Islam, nobody can do. There's many people they can answer all those mm. questions you ask him for. So, but there's there's mm. very few they can do what I can do about Islam. This is why mm. I focus always mm. in the cult of Islam because the rest they cannot do what I do. So there is many people they can ask him all mm. those questions you have, and this guy. Uh, uh, trust me, he will be. But just have patience with him. If he get angry from you because he is like a, he, he get angry so fast. So uh, uh, just be be, uh, be be nice with him. Ask him the questions, and you will get the answer. He is very good in the Bible. He is very well versed. Same time, uh, when I say to you, go and uh, mm -hmm. look, there's many people they can answer you. Uh, not doesn't mean mm -hmm. necessarily I agree about everything they say because remember. God speak to every individual by himself. So if we look at the image, let us say, mm. let us say if I put an, uh, an image, a picture, a picture, let us say a picture of an ocean, uh, uh, fisherman, etc. I put it in the front of uh, 40 students and I say to them, every one of you describe for me this picture. You will find that every student he describes something different. Mm. Do you agree? Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Why? Correct. How come? I mean, all of them, they are looking at the same picture. It's the same exact picture. Mm. So how come this guy, he noticed there is a tree. The, the other guy, he said, notice there is a palm palm date on the tree. The other guy, he, he add there is a bird. The other guy, he noticed that there is a guy, he's holding a fish. So it's the same picture, but not everyone he was focusing in, the, in, in some details. So this is exactly the same mm. as in the Bible. The Bible is written by four writers. Every one of them, they, they, the, the four of them, they complete the picture for us. Mm -hmm. This is why it's better that we have four mm -hmm. than having one. Why? Because the four, they complete the whole image. It's like pixels 
of picture coming through the antenna go to the, the TV and then they are gathered together and they make a, a perfect picture for us so for us to, in order to understand the Bible oh. we don't only read the book of Matthew we don't even read the book of Luke we have to read all of them and then the four of them they will make the, the perfect image and then we go to the books of Acts the books of the of, of the disciple what they did how they discuss things etc so I advise you not to go and copy uh, 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 a question from website which is anti-christianity and think that this is the question and this is the verse you know what i mean mm. it's not a verse and it's not a question yeah, yeah it's a book so in order for me to understand who is jesus uh if if it's enough to know who is jesus by saying the word jesus then i do not need to read the whole book if it's enough for me to know who is jesus by reading a verse in matthew well there is no need to read the book of matthew so what what the book is about so in order to understand what this verse is about it is an image you don't take one part of an image it's like somebody he shred an image one million pieces and then he give you a small piece and say see there's this uh, this is a picture that makes sense here well it doesn't make sense anyway because you took it out you shred it off the whole image so you Mm. Somehow you are doing the same. You are you are shredding questions from others. You did not yourself study the Bible very well, and you try to say to yourself, "There is a contradiction there." You see, there is there is uh, 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 me myself and many 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 people before me. We study, we we search the Bible to see because why I want to believe in it anyway. If if this book is a stupid, I mean, there's no point. That would make me stupid to believe in a stupid book, right? There's no point. But the difference between us and the Muslims, that a Muslim, he is not allowed to question his religion. He's not allowed to question his book. If he do that, he will go, not only uh, in religious meaning, he will go to hell, he will be killed. Even the Quran in chapter 5, verse 101, it says, ask no questions. Why? The verse after it, it says 102, because if, because former generation asked the same questions and they lost their faith so the quran forbid the muslims from asking questions it is the opposite from the bible jesus he said search the books read the books the bible says my people are destroyed because of their ignorance so the bible is against you to be ignorant but in order to fight your ignorance mm. you don't just search a verse you research the whole book after you finish the whole book reading then you come to a conclusion and mm -hmm. come to come back to me and say, okay, this book is false. But read it all. Sir. Yes. Sir, sir before 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 calling you, I, I read the entire book. That's what I'm saying. I'm here because I want I want the light. I read the entire book from Genesis to Apocalypse, Revelation. And I find out there's uh, something that I did not understand. That's why I'm coming to ask questions. Because I I saw some inconsistency in the book I had. And by reading this book, I find it interesting. And but though there's some things that I didn't get, I get what I mean. The Bible is like a puzzle, and that puzzle, if you just take a, 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 a part and remove it, the picture is not complete. I'm trying to get that complete picture. That's why I'm no, trying no, to no, ask no, my no, question. No. But I, I advise you. I, I will try to find you the. Um, I, I will ask the admins. Maybe they can find you the the page of Brother Sam Shamu. You can attend his program, and I'm sure he will be happy. Uh, just tell him Christian Prince he asked me to call you you know he will be happy to help you in answering your questions here usually we focus in the Quran as I said because very mm -hmm. very very few people they can do what I, I you know what I can do and but there is many there's hundreds if not thousands if not millions can answer questions about the Bible so uh, as we say in the Middle East give uh, let the baker do the bakery my my mission here focus in mm. Islam, their mission focus in the Bible. So you can call them anytime you wish, uh, and for sure you can call me anytime you wish if you have a question. But I, uh, I, I, I today I give you an example about how I answer those who believe in Islam, and the reason I answer this way mm. because I have my experience with them. It doesn't matter really how many times you answer the same question. They will come the second day the same person will call mm. the same again the same question it's just a copy paste nobody even listening so when i show them from their religion mm. the muslim he cannot answer me again and he will not 
cannot claim I was not convincing because I just told you from your book that the Trinity is there so you cannot deny the Trinity no more in order to deny the Trinity you have to deny your book and this is what I focus in I focus in showing the Muslims that they are wrong in their assumption for what they accuse us of it is in their book first and then let us see if it's in our book you know what I mean I get what you mean. I get what you mean. So again, what? I get. I get what you mean. Yeah. I get what. You so mean. this is why I want you to focus with me. If you have, uh, like, uh, what about you? You 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 share with me something about Islam. Do you want to say something about Islam? Why are you still a Muslim until now? Why do you think you are a Muslim? I'm, not not really. I'm like, I'm like. I'm like in between. I like I'm, I, I yeah, can but, say I'm looking but, for but life. You just said to me, sure. my friend, uh, uh, five minutes ago, you said to me, obviously the Quran is not consistent, right? Why you want to book? Yeah, why I, you want to believe in the book? It's not consistent. Is what I'm saying. I'm like almost, almost out. But if I'm going out, where my where where, where why, will I go? Why you are almost? Just say, I'm, just say I'm out. Why you are almost? Say I'm out. Take take your foot out of the house of the devil. This is a this is the house of the devil. The, uh, you know. Do you need to be really genius to know that God is not a pimp who provides vagina in heaven? Do we need to believe? But if, if I if I house, I need I need a place to or, of refuge. No, I my, need friend. A no, no, of refuge. My, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. It's about 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 refuge. I'm, I'm, okay, listen, listen. I'm not going to use an excuse to stay in the house of the devil because I say I don't have a roof. I prefer to have no roof, better than the roof of the devil. Islam obviously is a devilish, satanic cult teach mm -hmm. hatred and killing and violence and rape and all the kind of ugly stuff and there is no morality in this religion so it's not an excuse excuse to say well i'm not conv convinced yet about other religion to believe in other religion so i will not leave this one well if you are convinced that this one is bad then you should leave doesn't matter you have to format your computer before you install a new software otherwise the virus is there so kill the virus says I am out of Islam. I don't want it no more and Then we can talk about Jesus and see if Jesus is the, is the person you are you are looking for No problem you can go that way. I do not so do you Do you denounce Islam now do you do you do you are you willing to say Muhammad is a false prophet? I, I, or can I put? It? I cannot say that, Why? but I, I have nothing to do with it anymore. Oh, you just say that. You just say hmm? I, I have nothing to do with it anymore. That's it. That's it. You just decide decide to denounce Islam and to say Muhammad is a false prophet. No, I, I cannot say that. But I have nothing to do with, with it anymore. So, I, because you are afraid that they will kill you if you say Muhammad is a false prophet. So you say I have nothing to do with Islam no more. So I left Islam. You, you are saying that, right? You say you are saying I left Islam. Yes, I'm seeing okay. for the truth. Okay, That's why no I'm problem. Look, I believe you. I believe you. Uh, but you are just trying to be a little bit uh, politically correct, so you will not be uh, maybe chased and killed. So you left Islam. I'm so happy for you. Now, if you want to search if Jesus is the person to follow, my friend, you, first of all, find the bad mm -hmm. things about Jesus before you find the good things about Jesus. So I advise you to find the mm -hmm. bad things about Jesus, not by questions is 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 made by those who hate christianity five things about jesus by yourself you are intelligent you have a brain your brain you are educated you have the book read the book and let us see if we can find bad things about jesus where jesus said bad things in his teaching if we could not find anything bad then let us focus in the good things jesus he said and then you will find yourself uh, free to choose if you want to be with the Messiah or you want to be maybe an atheist. Maybe you want to be a Hindu It's up to you, but I cannot find me myself a person who spent, no, I, spent I, my I, life reading I, the Bible I could not find better be teaching than Jesus Be honest could you could you ever find a better I, teaching be than Jesus teaching were, were you able to find any better no, teaching? No, no, I, I couldn't. I couldn't find that. I'm being honest. I couldn't find it because I, I, I studied the teaching and all of that is good. It's good. That's why I'm, I'm here. Otherwise, I won't be here. 
Yeah. So my friend, I there's, couldn't there's, find there's, yeah, but there's nothing is called contradiction really in, in the Bible. The, the, the contradiction is our understanding because you know this is what, what people do. Since I was a child, when I read a story, you see, I used to like read a lot. Read, read, I mean like like a crazy. Uh, uh I used to walk almost every day, like maybe an hour or something, just to go, to go to a library which is far away from our house. And then when I get in in the library, I go to the adult section. They are not allowed as a child to go to the adult section because it's for adult. So what I do, I walk, I wait until an adult is coming by to get in, and I walk next to him as if I'm his son. So the the the, 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 the library guy, he will think I'm coming with my dad. And I get in, I sit in the table next to that guy, and this guy, he doesn't know what this guy, is kid is following him. So anyway, I grab any book in the table and I read. Reading is very important for you in order to acknowledge what's going on. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you, you know, uh, uh, for me, I learned yeah. about Christianity from reading by myself about Christianity. And mm -hmm. from all the accusation came against Christianity, it made me even better in my reading. So nothing, nothing wrong with somebody accusing my belief because that make me read it again and again and again. And then each time I read it, I found myself, I am getting better. So this is mm. why for me, when I speak to you, I'm very sure that there's no better than Jesus to follow. It's not because, okay, I'm born mm. as a Christian. You see, I'm obviously, I'm not just a person who was just born as a Christian from a Christian family. In Christianity, we don't have something that's called born of a Christian family. We have someone, he is born with a Christ. So you have to be reborn again, which means, mm. like we were talking about the baptism, the baptism simply is you announcing yourself to be reborn again with Jesus. You are going to be a follower of Jesus, following his step. So a Christian, mm. he is not a person whose name is Joseph or a Christian prince. is someone who follow the teaching of Jesus. And I cannot, and I challenge anyone to find me better teaching than his teaching. People, they can try to find like, okay, here it says, mm. as you said, it says in the name of Jesus there, it says in the name of the Father, the Son, or Spirit. But this is something silly, my friend, because this is not what it's meant. All of Christianity is based in what Jesus said. The rest is in the name of Jesus. So anything Jesus said, it is what Jesus said. Anything else is in the name of Jesus. I go to you and I say to you, in the name of Jesus, I invite you right now to Christ. But in the name of Jesus does not mean I just told you everything Jesus said. However, I am telling you, you told me that you'd read the Bible, yeah, I, so you I, I, know I, what Jesus yeah. is about. In the yeah, name yeah. of Jesus, I, I, I invite you. In not not in my name. I'm not the one who have the authority. I'm not mm. the one who have a followers. I don't want to have a followers. I am no one. I am a sinner man. So, in the name of mm. Jesus, we present things to you. But what people do when when you start trying to find just a mistake, you see, when I read the Quran since I was a child, I started in the Quran. I did not look for uh, for for mistakes. I, I read the Quran because they told me that this book is amazing. You go to school. I grew up in the Middle East. I grew up in the, in the school. They say to you, it's an amazing book. Miracles in the Quran. You go in the you go to the bathroom. You hear the, the takbir, Allah Akbar. You go to sleep, Allah Akbar. You, you open the TV, you know, the TV is speaking about the amazing prophet. You open the radio, the unbelievable prophet. So everything around you speaking, it's unbelievable. So I start reading to see this unbelievable religion. Maybe, maybe my religion is a maybe my, my religion is a cult. So let me see. Maybe, maybe they are right. Maybe the Muslims are they have the, the right one. I did not really start reading the Quran just to look for, for mistakes. But the more I read the book, the more I notice how stupid it is. This is the most stupid book ever exists. And the trick is if you know Arabic, you will find right away how stupid it is. And I was, I was saying to myself, how those Arabs don't notice how stupid it is? And then I come to conclusion, they knew it's a stupid, but who dare to say it's a stupid? Do you know the story of the child uh, and the naked king? Do you know it? Hello, sorry. Do you know the story of, uh, of this? Do you know mm -hmm. this? Do you know the story of the child and the naked king? Naked king. Yeah, I think I know. You do, not, you do not know it? Just to make it simple for you. I know. I... You know it, huh? So mm. all the kingdom, because yeah. because the tailor said, if this if nobody saw this dress, it's mean he is a hypocrite and he's a liar and he hate you. Nobody dare to say, mm. eh, the king is naked. And this is exactly the story of Muhammad. Nobody dare. Who dare? Who dare 
to say a word who dare even to question it is a terror it is not because really they believe and if you want to see really what Muslims believe in just give them some freedom and you will see how Muslims they behave they have nothing to do with Islam and they don't want Islam who is the one who took the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt down the Muslims who is the one who reject the election in Algeria the Muslims the Muslim they want the election how they want the election the the, the the majority of people nobody went to vote the Muslims they decide to mm. go and vote with people they were relaxed like, I mean who normally in the Middle East we don't vote I mean what vote you know so the Muslims because all of them they are organized they went and they voted they, they took the, the, the government then the people themselves when they saw the result they took over and they refused the Muslim to take over who is the one stopping Erdogan who give us a speeches about Islam to have Sharia law in in, in Turkey why he don't have Sharia law? Mm. He speak about Islam day and night. He speak that Sharia law is the best law. But yet, the night the night clubs in Turkey is all over the the the, the drink, the drunks, the drugs, prostitution. Number one income as a, uh, for 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 Turkey is tourism, and and from tourism is a sexual is a, is a sex business. So they speak too much about God, but yet they don't want their God. They don't want you know islam is not just a religion in christianity we don't have something is called sharia law we have people who you know choose to be obedient to god i do not need a court to force me to, to pray i do not need a force a court to force me not to be a thief i do not need a court because a thief can be a thief even if there is somebody forcing him not to be a thief so to be with jesus you have to follow mm. jesus and whatever jesus says so in the name of jesus then I am not going to be a thief. I am not going to be a fornicator. I'm not going to be an adulterer. I'm not going to be a, a, a liar. I'm not going to be etc. Because either you are with him or you are against him. Islam is different. Mm. You will notice that Muslims they speak that Allah He gave them a law to follow, but they are the same as the as the Jews. By the way, both Muslims and, mm. and Jews they are very much close to each other in hypocrisy. As an example. The biggest gay uh, uh, festival in the world now is in Jerusalem until in Tel Aviv. Well, how mm. how those people they have a book it says to them that this is sin, and then they have the biggest festival. You know what I mean? Mm. I see. I can hear you. I yeah. can hear you. So, but but and, and the Jews they have a law to follow, not like you know it's, it's, they are different. They are close to the Muslims in 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 a way that we have a law to follow. Mm. So they abandon their law. Mm. And the Muslims they abandon their law, but yet they claim that they are the most believing people who love Muhammad and who love his religion But nobody want to follow the law. Nobody want to follow the prophets mm. of Islam Muhammad he used uh, uh, To clean his ass with the three rocks. How many Muslims today? They use the three rocks Muhammad he ordered them to drink camel urine. How many Muslims I drink camel urine a Muslim is someone who follow Muhammad a Christian is someone who follow Jesus so if we say how many Christians today mm. they are following Jesus we can say that there is many follow Jesus but there's a lot don't but that will not change mm. anything in Christianity Jesus said not everyone says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will in Islam it's the, it doesn't matter really you do his will or not you commit all kind of sin you go and kiss the black stone Muhammad he said whoever took touch the black stone and kiss it and hold the Yemeni corner Allah forgive his sin so you do not need to for to, to follow Allah to be in heaven in Islam mm. you need to say Shahada and you need to touch the black stone you need to do Hajj you need to do the five prayer and you say and that's it that's it you are a good good to go in Christianity we don't have such a thing you can say Jesus Jesus from now until the coming thousand years still you will not go to heaven if you don't follow what Jesus said so mm. not everyone says to me lord lord many people they say to me i'm god we worship you but they don't do what i say to them and then jesus he said to them depart from me i do not know you i don't know you they said jesus lord you we know we, we even did miracles in your name they didn't you know they did, they did mm. it in his name for for their glory not for his glory they use his name for they are hypocrites so Christianity mm. is a, a million mm. degree far from Islam. There's nothing we share. 
not the value, not the teaching, not the heaven, not the God, and even the names are not correct. Who, like, mm. If we ask the Muslims, wh wh where is the name Isa coming from? What Isa? There's nothing. It's called Isa. Muhammad, obviously, he mm. copied the name from the from the Greek, and this is Asos. But but this is will prove Muhammad to be false again. How Muhammad he claimed that Jesus was a prophet for the Jews, but yet he his name is a Greek name. Mm. And how he is a prophet for the Jews, but yet his book is Injil, which means it's a Greek book. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, I get it. Everything in this religion I is stupid. Literally, literally, everything in this cult is stupid, whatever the word stupid means. We make speeches saying to people that Jesus was just a messenger. He is not a messenger for all mankind. He was just a messenger for the Jews. Okay, what the name of the book of Jesus? Injil. But Injil is a Greek word. So how he is a messenger for the Jew, but his book is in a Greek. And what Asa mean? It's a Asos. What does that mean? It's a, it's a, it's a Greek name. So how he can be a messenger for the Jews, but yet his name and his book in a Greek? Because Muhammad is a thief. He did not learn a different name. This is what he heard, that this is his name. Copy, paste. So, my yeah. friend, my advice to you, I'm glad that you called me today and we have a nice conversation together. Maybe I, I, was, uh, I was shouting at you. You know, uh, forgive me if I was really a little bit uh, tough on you. But because I learned through many, many years that Muslims don't yeah. want to listen. They just want to shout and talk and they don't even want to prove their 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 point because there's no point to prove as much as they just want to talk to disturb so i was trying just to show you mm. that what you are saying proving you which means your accusation proving me right and this is what is amazing about the, 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 the uh, uh, islam always they try to prove me wrong but by their accusation they prove the christians always right and they prove Islam to be wrong and this is exactly what happened today we found and you agreed that God is in Jesus you speak to Jesus you speak to God Jesus is a man and yet he is a spirit and yet God is in, in Jesus three in one but yet the Quran says for chapter 4 verse 171 say no Trinity but the same verse confirm the Trinity so the Trinity is not about gods, it's about God. If God cannot be, then cannot be God. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. If God cannot be something he wants to be, then he cannot be God. Mm -hmm. Because when we call somebody almighty, what does that mean? What almighty God mean? Almighty, it's mean the one who have the absolute power, right? Oh. Absolute power. Yeah, all okay. powers. Okay. The Quran says, how God can have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? How that can be God? <laughs> you just said to me that he cannot, even the Quran itself is the one is, is the one using the word, how can he? What kind of God? Mm -hmm. He questioned mm -hmm. his ability. You see? If I say, how can God, that should make me kafir. For I'm questioning the ability of God. That means God is not almighty. So how God he say himself he say how oh. can he have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? You just told me that you are not Almighty God because you cannot have a son unless you have a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And this is the case, and this is the logic for yeah. every human being, not a not a logic for God. And then we can say, okay, how God then he was able to make Mary have a son, but she don't have a boyfriend. You see how the logic contradicts itself. He used a logic yeah. to prove to us that God cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend, and he don't have a girlfriend. But in the same time, a few verses after, he said to us, try to convince us that there's a woman, her name is Mary. She got a son, but she don't have a boyfriend. And this is why Islam cannot be, not even close to be a cult. Islam is a shred of cults. Islam is nothing but a shred of cults. Muhammad, he took from every religion and cult something. Mm. This is why you see in the beginning, Muhammad, he said, 
that those who they are Jews and those who they are Christians and those who they are Sabi and they will go to heaven even Sabi and they will go to heaven why Sabi and they will go to heaven I challenge any Muslim to tell me what is the reason for hmm. Sabi and who they worship the stars to go to heaven how is that how they earn their salvation at that moment Muhammad was a hypocrite man he was trying to be universal prophet for all religion just accept me I accept you all of you you will go to heaven in the Ladina Amen well Ladina had one the Sara was sabi in a woman I'm gonna be lady will you will after well I'm gonna sorry him follow home at your home and the rabbi him well I hope and I am well I'm you know as an own chapter 2 verse number 62 promise everybody who left in this earth is what is missing is to say the atheist the Hindu the Buddha but he did not hear about them so he promised those who he he heard of them that they will go to heaven Christians Jews Sabian and Muslims all will go to heaven who is left but this is when Muhammad was no one in the beginning he need he need a group you need to join a group you see if you want to be a president in America you have to join either Democrat or Republican you have to join a group and then when you join a group you can get stronger mm -hmm. and after you became president you can make your own party then you do not need the group and this is exactly what Muhammad was doing mm -hmm. all right uh, let me take a call there's somebody is trying to call and you feel free me to call me back again all right all right my friend. Uh, no, I have just one question not, not really a question not really a question all right uh, I I brought up the bodies. I brought up the bodies. Not it's not because I, I, I was trying to play smart. No, it was because, um, as I said before, I tried to study the Bible. Uh, I, I read the Bible, and and I say I find the, the teaching of Jesus very interesting, and it really kind of attracted me. I don't know how to explain. My friend, it. my friend. Then the, uh, best, the best teaching, the best teaching, trust I, me, I, is the teaching of Jesus. And you will not find I will give you one sentence and I want you to think about it before you go When Jesus said love your enemy Imagine if every human being practiced just one sentence of Jesus not the book Do you think the earth will be will, will change to be heaven? What do you think? Just love your enemy Just one sentence of the teaching, One one sentence not a book from the teaching of Jesus which nobody ever said before they say the Hindu, Mahmata, Gandhi, uh, etc. All of those, nobody said that. Nobody said love your enemy. Love your enemy. Pray for them. Pray for those who curse you. Imagine if all of us, me and you and he and she, we do such a thing. The world will be heaven. Heaven and earth. This literally will be heaven. Because that's right. That's why, so that's, why, that's why I wanted to make the first step. I, I went to see pastors and, and so on. Same way they did in the Bible, and in the Bible, when I check the Bible, then I think if I want to be saved, what can I do? Then I find in the Bible they say, people ask Peter, what can we do to be saved? He attacked me because I was looking for the light, and then he say, uh, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. I even memorized the scripture because I found it very important, and by taking that scripture in the bible and then try to go to churches then i realized they are not doing things the same way they were doing it in early church and then it made me scared because i was thinking like they were they were supposed to be as the first church but it's not really no my friend well, first of all i was confused first of all, first of all, i even asked the question yeah let, let me tell you something first of all churches don't present really jesus yeah the churches is a group of people the priest he might be a criminal there's many people they do uh, business right the same as in yeah. Islam the same as any religion somebody he want to have a good life yeah I am a priest he got sorry he got a free insurance he got a nice house people pay him he, he get paid for the funeral he get paid for everything those are people do business to know about Jesus is something personal between you and the Messiah the Messiah is a living God he is not dead so you want to know about him you read your question you you study your research and in the same time speak to Christians who know what they are talking about and speak to the Lord himself pray for him to answer you so I do my best but I am not perfect still I am not even close to be the one I mean, who am I so me myself I wanna if I wanna if I'm uh, there is something I want to know really the only guidance I have is is my Lord and the Holy Spirit is is uh, is a uh, 
is the one who provides us always with answers. You know, sometimes you, you, you stay trying for hours, trying to understand something, and then suddenly it's come to your head. Yeah, I got it, you know, suddenly. So if you depend on yourself, you will never arrive anywhere. I don't depend on myself. You know, when I debate Muslims, you will notice I have a lot of confidence. But my confidence not just because I have knowledge, but because I have confidence in my Lord. So I have two things who sponsor who I am. And number one, I am confident because he is with me. And if he is with me, who is good? Who could be against me? Number two, I did what he said to me. He advised me to search the books, to read the books. He told me my people destroyed because of their ignorance. So I took his advice. He told me that I'm not going to listen to the rabbi because they do say something and they do the opposite. Listen to the, what they do, but then listen to what they say, but don't do what they do. So we should not judge Christ by Christian prince. Christian prince is sinner. Who is a Christian prince? He's no one. Who is this guy? Who is that guy? We do sin. We are not the one who can really present Christ for you. The only one who can present Christ to you is Christ himself. You have his book. You have his wisdom. You have his amazing loving teaching, teaching which can change our life. Will change your life automatically right away. You as a person from inside. That is what you need. It's not the Christians who will change you. The Christian themselves, they change because of him. It's not him, them, who changed Jesus. It is Jesus who changed them. So don't depend on the man to change you. Depend on the Lord himself to be with you and to be your guidance. You have the book, you have his wisdom, and ask, we will help you to, to explain things to you. But we are not the one who will make you a believer. Nobody can make you a believer. It is you who should believe or not to believe. And my experience, I speak about myself, I could not find, I studied, I did spend all my life reading books. I could not find something better than the Messiah. It's amazing. Each time, even the same story, you read it again. Let us say I read a story today from Matthew. Tomorrow I read the same story, I will find myself discover something new. It's like if God speaking to you in that story and he is with you. It's like it is a new story every day. Because the, 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 beauty, the beauty about the teaching of Jesus, it fit with every time. You see, when 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 Jesus uh, taught people by parables, he he know he it's like a, a Muhammad. He tried to copy him, but Muhammad, because he's a foolish man, he's a he's a thief. He could not make it right. He he was is very stupid in in his teaching. But if you see any teaching of Jesus, you will see that it fit even in the time of technology. Today we are in the time where people they are speaking to you. You are overseas, God knows where. And I am in America, and yet we can talk to each other in, in the same time, in the same second we hear each our, ourselves. So it is amazing moment with this amazing technology, but yet the story of Jesus, which is written 2,000 years ago, fit with our life today. So how we can, how we can say this is not from the true God? How we can say that this is not really the spirit of God who living God who is with us always time does not doesn't count for him his wisdom fit for every day and for every time when the Quran speak about prepare yourself to attack your enemy by your horses okay so what I will read to the Muslims today prepare yourself to fight them by the sword and the horses was he talking to the Muslim at that time no the Muslim they say no it was for every time the Quran is a book for a for every time when the Quran speak that women she have a sperm coming from her ribs and the and the man have a sperm from his backbone, well that does not fit for that time. Does not fit for this time. This time it's a joke. So there's tons of things in in the in the in the Quran is stupid and and the and the unique about the Quran. The Muslim they say, as you as you know because you are coming from a Muslim background, the Quran every word there every letter is from God, right? Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, but the Bible is not the same. Right. The Bible is not the same. The Bible is a book of books, and in, in the book you will find that David said, David is not God, right? So the one is talking there is not is not God, it's David. <laughs> a woman she said, a man he said to Jesus, This is not God talking. So we say yes, the Bible is the book of God, but does not mean that every word there is God talking. 
there's a stories there is a history there is this guy he said this guy he thought this guy he commits sin this guy commit adultery etc so the Bible is we call it the book of God but we have people talking there it's a book of history it's a it's a it's a it's a the collection of the history of the Jews in the same time in the same time when God he speak that said God is speaking when man he speak it's a man he speak in the Quran we do not have this option in the Quran everything there is supposedly Allah talking from the first letter to the last letter so I cannot accept teaching in the Quran saying things stupid I can accept someone in the Bible who speak of himself not for God speaking evil or doing evil because that is him doing that he is or he is he is the one saying that but God saying evil and teaching evil that is not accepted all right my friend uh, I get you I get you all right if there's anything I just you want to say if for me I you know for me I, I am honored to invite you to accept the Messiah if you wish to accept him right now but it's your choice to to believe or not No, I think I think I, I, I feel myself like Philip and uh, Ethiopian Felix who say, "How oh, can I understand you? There's no one to explain to me." I'll I'll, I'll take your advice and and I'll, I'll 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 appreciate as well if you can also maybe leave the link of of your friend so I can also ask my question. Yeah, we will try because to. Because it's like uh, guys, if anyone like knows, a uh, first, like a first yeah. point. Yeah, no problem. All right, my friend. Thank you very much for calling. And if you if you feel like uh, uh, you wanna uh, you, you wanna accept the Messiah loud and clear in front of everybody, just give me a call. I will be happy to hear that from you. And I pray for you that you will read to understand, not to read. There's a huge difference between reading to understand and reading to read, or read to to uh, to be uh, criticizing only. Read and criticize, no problem. But read to understand. This is very important. Thank you for calling. May the Lord bless you. And I pray that all the Christians with me here, they pray for you, that you might find your answers coming from the Lord himself, not from a Christian prince. For no answer better than his answers, and there's no wisdom better than his wisdom. Thank you for calling, my friend. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Take care. All right. <clears throat> Uh, if anyone know the the page of uh, Sa brother Sam Shamoon in YouTube, please, if you can post it for him in the text. Anyone have his page? I don't know what his page really. I know that he's do uh, he do podcast in YouTube. Okay, let me see if I need. Ah, oh, here we go. A okay, Christian by choice. He post. Uh, you see his channel this is his channel please subscribe to him i don't know how often he do live podcast you can check his schedule and see um, how and when he do it <clears throat> yeah and you know actually i want to thank the person who called us and he asked me to call him because sometime you know like i lose my voice it's not easy you know trust me it's not easy you feel yourself shouting and and you know what make me sometimes really angry that it's it is clear and yet they don't want to listen and that make you really uh, get get really upset i mean like why they, you know uh, there's no way he cannot see it so uh, 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 the person who called me and he asked me to call this this person again i i want to say thank you for you for your for uh, yeah maybe victor i think yeah uh, for your call and uh, I hope we pray that the Lord he will he will open his eyes and he will bring him to the truth he said search for the truth and the truth will set you free and he said I am the truth I am the truth and actually even the Quran Allah and the Quran claim that he is the truth too and you ask yourself who is the one who wrote who said that word first Jesus or Allah obviously Jesus you know 600 years before Muhammad I am the truth and then suddenly we find Muhammad saying that Allah said he is the truth trying to copy Jesus um, anyway guys 
I think it's time for me to go uh, did we have a good time together was it good I hope so well until we see you again I say may the Lord bless you and don't forget please to share the links and the videos with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget too that if you want to learn more and you have to have a handy reference in your hands you always can get my books from amazon.com you just search amazon.com germany etc whatever amazon it is you can search for christian prince and you will find all the list of my books in many languages so thank you very much for being here may the lord bless you all and until we see you soon again christ is lord and islam is false proven every day i mean to that see you soon